apologize for the hold up. The animals were unmanageable. Just, uh, it's, things are just impossible these days, I swear. I slept for 10 hours last night and I still have no energy just because I'm constantly having allergic reactions to all the animals. I just can't do this anymore. <sighs> okay. Alright. Alright. At least get things going. And there we go. Question is what I will try to farm today, probably. Experience books for Tori and Layla. Oh, we got a little bit. That, there we go, cool. Hmm. Start off with today's dailies. Got the grapple challenge over there, cool. You know, me too. Honestly, me too. Oh well, how are you doing? It's good to see you. I just... Things are the way they are sometimes. Things will have to get worse before they can get better. Okay. Thank you. Grapple. 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 Okay. And then... Another defense. Yeah. Feel I feel like eventually I'm just gonna have a stress-induced heart attack from the dog or something. It... It feels like very few things can surprise me at this point. Okay. One, two, and thank you, and that do not kill, huh? How does wait? Huh? What I mean? Okay, get over here. Get over here. Get closer. Get closer, please. All right. Oh, oh. Goodness. Yeah. Oh wow. Honestly, that that amount of money is impressive. Maybe not in a good way. And two, shoot one, two, shoot. There we are. And next up, we got a group of guys to fight. Ah. Uh. <sighs> I'm just really. What kind of stuff? Just a bunch of figures and. In the end, it. I can't imagine that you'd save all that all that much money buying it there, really. I don't know. Thank you, and one, two, three, four, and... Oh my goodness. Hit you, and one, two, three, fight, and... Did we hit them? There we hit them, okay, cool. CDs of who? Yeah, okay, huh. I'm not- I'm not gonna force the issue. I- I don't know who that is. I'm not Italian. Okay, spot of trouble. Steaming hot swim. What's the achievement? Achievement is... Okay, there doesn't seem to be an achievement. I know they're not Italian. I'm joking. I'm joking that Italians are all weebs. So they'd know more than me. Okay. So this one actually does not have a quest achievement associated. Huh. Okay. And I like the jump she does there. It's fun. And over here, over here, yeah. Okay, cool. 
Just most of them. Hmm. But apparently no achievement related to it, but it's quest enough that it's prioritized. Hmm. Okay. Let's go and clean up the hot springs. Okay, cool. Alright, alright. Pick up the junk in the hot spring. Alright. Oh, wow. Honestly, it surprises me that you would have non-weeb friends. Okay, other than... I don't know, roommates who are basically assigned to by way of renting. Oh, goodness. Okay. There it is. Come on. I, I, I say that as someone who doesn't really have non-weeb friends. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's just... Uh, at this point, uh, I think some of it is just America versus other places. Other places where people don't really self-sort as much, if you know what I mean. Because at this point, being a weeb is basically default for being a geek in America. You know, if you're not... If you're anything other than, quite frankly, a giga normie white person, in America you like weeb stuff. The only people who don't like weeb stuff are just... comically normal white people. I mean that. Okay... And... Let me just see. Got a few more. How far can I take Dory then? Well, it's... It's tough to say. And there, there are reasons for everything. For better or worse. Right. You a little bit higher and then we can get another blue fate at least. I'm leveling them for Imaginary Theater. Okay... Yeah. But... The thing about America is that... American cultural dominance is so strong that it's very easy for someone to literally only like American stuff if they're in America. And I really do mean only. Okay, let's... One more roll on standard. And that would be... 61 pity on normal banner. Interesting. And nothing. Okay, cool. It's a black tassel. I do find it interesting that black tassel is... Standard Gasha and White Tassel is chess only. It's interesting. That's interesting. What do, what do you mean by that? In that they assumed that anything they liked was American because anything good was American, or at least not Italian. It's been several days now. I wonder if Chazoli has finished making the Blaze Gem inscription for like whispers. The Sheila Men's Workshop, which is actually that one in there. Huh. Since Neshka's birthday is just around the corner, let's go to the tribe to buy some things and then pay the family a visit. Honestly, kind of forget what happened. I think that focused experience. Okay. Thread like whispers. Time you and Tozoli agreed upon has almost arrived. You prepare to pay her a visit to check on the Bullies Gem inscription's progress. And, yep, we got Shion in in here. With her help Shaven, the or owner of Mahuru's Gemporium, escapes danger. She has decided to prepare a gift for his thanks. When Shaven pointed a visit to Zoli and he discovered that she gave up on her work to care for her sick daughter Neshka, now that Neshka's condition is improving, things seem to be looking up for all involved. Strange sound echoes across the bridge line's edge. Well, 
That's true of a lot of places that are not America, but are still sort of in the American cultural sphere. For better or worse, it's at least rather common. But... And likewise, it's rather common for Americans to just only like American stuff, because like I said, American cultural dominance worldwide is so strong that it's more common than not for Americans to know literally nothing about other countries. Yeah, that, that'd be more of a Mateus, right? I'll be like, Scorch, you and good thing you're here. I'm wondering if I can... Sleepy. The shelf on the left, second row down, first axe on the right. That one's yours, the garden hoe. And you can smell the hamper's pockets, so make sure you take the one that's yours. I haven't even said why I'm here, but it looks like you're about to head out for a break. Yeah, yeah. Yes, but I'm going to take it right here. The temperatures is perfect today. Really? But doesn't it feel a lot hotter than usual? I really don't want to stay out in this heat. You know, if she went in was real, I'd probably have an allergic reaction to her. Exactly, in hot weather like this, customers don't tend to stick around and talk when they're coming to place orders or pick up the goods. I see. Oh, here comes another customer. I'll just leave you to it and then pick up my axe. Is it kneeled, kneeled to you? For you, not me. Okay. Sure sounds good to me. I guess that makes me venti. Hey, she wanna- Oh, that- <laughs> That's a funny place for Paimon to be. Oh, oh, he need- He need you. Okay. Traveler Paimon, we meet again. You two seem to be in good spirits. Has your Pilgrim's Chronicle been? Run into any issues, right? Because she got it with Satwali. We'll get another entry from doing this quest. No, everything is fine. Good, it was also my first time receiving a Pilgrim's Chronicle, even though I've already turned it over to you. Makes me wonder if other individuals have gotten one before. Uh-huh. There's still a lot of things that could go wrong, so I wasn't sure if there would be any issues. Huh, so uh, what are the chances that something might still go wrong? Less than the chances of Milani accidentally falling up the spirit way, I'd say. Oh, well, that definitely would never happen. I found the actual name, thanks a lot. By the way, Nishka's birthday is coming up real soon. Are you planning to visit her? I prepared a gift and was just getting ready to take it to her. So you're not planning on giving the kid a full set of pliers again, are you? Or only us woodworking tools? Give these kinds of things as birthday gifts. I'd like a set to work and I'd buy one. I make these myself and it's a lot of work, but if you'd like a set, I can make some time and forge one for you. Great, we often camp out in the wild, but a set of shoeing and tools would make pitching a tent starting a bonfire a whole lot easier. Still, I won't be giving Nishka any tools this year. She wrote me a letter saying she'll like a copy of Tekiel the Brain. The book is not what you call a bestseller, but luckily I have a few copies in my collection. They were really old editions that were published a long time ago, but they should still be readable. Ah, oh, children are age old fairy tales. Last time I was at Tazol, because I've been brought Nishka, eh? Oh, wait, what did I bring her again? It must have been her favorite thing, but uh, why can't I remember it anymore? Maybe some ancient name related stuff? Or... It is quite hot today, it seems you're out to pass out from the heat. Do you even remember your own name? My memory can't be this bad, it's just these last few days. So I've been forgetting things for some odd reason. Probably exposure to a cat she's allergic to or something. In that case, why don't you use the boy's gem inscription you have as a memo to engrave some important things to remember? After all, that inscription will never wear out, and it's easy to carry. I'd say that's quite a fitting use for it. Uh -huh. Do you have a point? But my inscription is almost already full. Your name is that long. Did you include all your relatives' names, too? No, no, I engraved some wishes on my boy's gem inscription. You know, just some dreams that I have for the future and things I'd like to accomplish one day. Even though Tozoli has said that from an aesthetic point of view, it would be best for people to keep their inscriptions short. This boy's gem inscription was still made by a name engraver, the forger of ancient names themselves. Everyone thinks that the inscription she might made might have some wondrous powers. So many people who have boy's gem inscriptions engraved their wishes and dreams on them in hopes that they would come true. Sounds kind of like a wish granter. But if you do that, won't everyone be able to see your wishes and dreams? I was just wondering the same thing. Yeah, that could be a little embarrassing. 
Ah, uh, don't worry, we utilize Sazoli to add the inscriptions for us. She has a unique method of engraving. Through method, the light needs to be at a certain angle in order to see the text. Without the right angle of lighting, the boy's room inscription will just look like a pretty stone. That's true, in the end, a boy's room inscription is essentially just a piece of rock. It doesn't have the power to grant people's wishes. Making wishes to it is like shouting into an echoing valley. The only one who will answer is yourself. But using it as a journal for your wishes is also fun. Carrying them with you and taking a look from time to time can be a good source of encouragement. As long as you don't suddenly change your mind and want to take your wishes back, that is. These things are extremely durable, it would take a lot of effort to change the words. And I don't think anyone would really willingly part with it either, they're not cheap and very hard to get. If you ever lost it, you'd just be filled with regret. Still, it's really strange, giving Auntie skill, how could it take so long for her to make one? I hope someone didn't give her the idea of making fewer and selling for more. I know just the person who would do that sends us a lot of shaven schemes, probably Dory. Ah, oh, it's true, it's shaven. You totally put that under ear. Still, I don't think it's a bad thing for Zoli to make some money by selling these. At least she and little Nishka are better off now and won't have to worry about the cost of treating her illness anymore. But it wasn't Dory, it was the jeweler, actually. I was really worried about their family at first, and was even planning to send them some us sent some. Oh, what was I planning to send to Nishka again? All oh, this memory of mine. All right, if you stay out in the heat for any longer, I'm afraid even the inscription won't be able to save her memory. You should go back and get some rest. Am I right? Please give my regards to Zazoli and Neshka. What's going on? Maybe I should go talk to Erin to get some messages in. So we go to Neshka's birthday party too, is she No, perfect, but let's go together. Sure, but I didn't expect you to notice Zazoli too. She hasn't even been coming to the tribe much lately. So how did you get a chance to talk with her? I'll explain your encounter with Zazoli to Shion N. So that's how you met her. She even wants to use volcanic crystal as a forging material. Because she's really pulling out all the stops for her daughter. We also want to get a gift for Neshka, but we have no idea what she might like. And let's just go and ask. Come on, I want to give her the book anyway. Oh, wait a second. Aren't birthday gifts supposed to be a surprise? If we ask Neshka, then she'll know what gift we'll be getting her, and that would ruin the surprise. But if you don't ask her, then how will you know what kind of present she would like? Here's another idea. Perhaps you can also give her a storybook based on what she wrote in her letter. That might be a good option. Easy enough. I have loads of those in my bag. But shouldn't we give it a little more thought? If y'all give her books, it might seem like we didn't put much effort into it. Shonen, have you really never asked her what she would like the most? There must be something else she'd like beside books. Fortunately, no, Nisha's illness has kept flaring up over the past few years. How wish she couldn't do anything during that time other than rest in her bed. She didn't even have the strength to talk to anyone. It wasn't until recently that she started to recover from her illness and regained the strength to write letters to others. Anyway, there's no need to overthink it. Worst case scenario, I can split the book into two volumes and we each give her one. Great idea, let's just go and ask Neshka. Yeah, even though it would ruin the surprise, we could at least get her something that would make her happy. Anyway, could you tell us a bit more about the book you're getting her? Is it really that unpopular? It's a little difficult to explain. You see, there are actually two versions of Tekio the Brain. The premise of the book is pretty straightforward. It's basically about a set of twin brothers working to defeat a demon lord. But after defeating the demon lord, the older brother Tekio discovers that King Spirit has possessed his younger brother Limak. In the ending of the original story, the older brother kills his younger brother to defeat the demon lord, for himself jumping into a volcano. Somewhat aged copy of Tekio the Brave. Interesting looking creature, multiple eyes on its head. Its tail comes from the desolate distant past. In those days, the mountain's teeth were still bared like blades against men and beasts. Thirsting for the souls of the feeble-minded human and non-human alike. People knew that the god of mountains loved them not and was to be given a wide berth. And they were forced to seek... Goodness. Shelter in caverns from the storm screaming through the wilds all the past one long night after the next. But these caverns, like the mountains, extracted payment from these vagrants. Countless for the tribes who lost kin to the ways through which they stumbled blind. The only Tekiel and his kind-hearted brother Remok were born to watch that tribe. The hour of their birth, a long troubling night reigned inside and outside the caves. Though the campfires around which the tribe's full sat flickered, none were comforted by their light. The people thought, this fire shall soon go out, and once it does, we too shall be finished. How long will this night last? I'm cold and hungry too. Let's hurry things up then, quickly. Let me walk into the night, better that than this torment. Oh, you poor children, you poor, poor children. Yet Tekio and Rimak did not announce themselves with sorrowful cries as the other children did. Said so Tekio stared into the cavern depths. The minions of the cavern did their best to frighten him. But his gaze swept over them, keen as a sharp stone spur. He has seen us our sharp claws and long teeth, but he is not afraid. Wicked creatures whispered amongst themselves anxiously and involuntarily attracted to such a set appendages. Rimak, for his part, waved his hands and laughed, and his laughter was like pebbles tumbling in a stream, drawing the eyes of all the distressed tribe piece of traps to go through his face. Only then did they notice that though the flame wavered, it had never ceased to burn, and with another wave of his hands, Mark patted the fire next to him.
<clears throat> feed the flame, feed the flame. The elderly chief, thus reminded by the newborn boy, shouted his words aloud, repelling the fear that had been about to swallow the tribe whole. Both stood and fueled the fire, and they drew their obsidian blades, casting their eyes into the cavern depths, just as Takeo had. The beasts of the cavern were filled with rage and hate, but they knew that these people would not loosen their grip on their weapons, nor would their eyes be shot. Terror had already fled, fled and so death was forced to retreat. Only when the stone rose again did the brothers close their eyes, falling asleep in their mother's bosom. Thus did the tribe's people depart the cave, having lived another day. These people who had rejected fear would live countless days more. Yet, the defeat of her evil underlings caught the eye of their master, Kowatlaku. For the sword of demons who claimed to be the mother of the underworld and mistress of 10,000 times 10,000 caves, whose fangs were the rocky stalactites, whose tongue was every blast of wet, frigid wind and who, upon awakening, could only be satiated by devouring 10,000 living souls. Tekio and Rimak were the first humans to slip her grass. Shamefaced, this Earth Mother waved her hand, lashing the evil beast cowering to the side of the rock. Go, go, redeem your humiliating failure, capture those dim-witted mortals, and fill my stomach. But having seen their fears vanquished, the people remembered well the methods of scattering those terrors time after time. They settled at the foot of the mountains, sharpened wooden blades, lit fires, and gave the sharpest blades to the best warriors, with which they would stand guard behind the stakes. Their bright eyes pierced the wilderness beyond the firelight and did not shift their gazes away for even a moment. By blade and fire did Kowatwaki's minions cease defeat time after time until they could do nothing but huddle in the dark, daring not to draw near the flame. Fires in the hearts of the people ignited and they began to speak of victory of light and at the end of the viper. They moved in Tekio and Rimak, these two brothers could surely keep the heat and light alive. Tekio and Rimok thought the same, and so they sharpened their spears and blades, preparing to drive the demon lord of that evil serpent to her doom. But the Earth Mother who hated this tribe did not relent. She took sludge from the deepest parts of the cave and pinched it into a snake, and she plucked out her eye, setting it into the serpent's eye socket. It was that child who caused you to witness the fire, and so let me go and swallow his eyes. One evening, when the sun had just set, night's veil was slowly covering the sky, and the stars yet to begin granting their light. The serpent bit and saw a rabbit beyond the tribe's bounds, and burrowed into its skin, lying flat on the ground. Rimok, returning from gathering herbs, came upon this rabbit, seeing its wound. Khan child put his torch out without hesitation, and reaching for his herbs, he chewed on them, preparing to apply them to the rabbit. The snake, speaking for the earth mother, leaped from the wound, hissing laughter. Aha, ignorant foolish human, sacrificing yourself for a lily rabbit. Before Rimok could retrieve his torch, the earth mother's serpent latched its fangs first onto his neck, and then burrowing into his body, captured his heart and soul both. The defenseless sentries were the next to be murdered by the earth mother. They greeted Rimok, just as they always did, when he returned from gathering herbs, only to be pierced with the heart by the serpent and dying on the spot. The entire tribe's fires were put out, and amidst the strata of darkness, death and terror were resurgent. The Earth Mother spat the snake out, and through poison fang she cried out, Behold, behold, ye arrogant fools, and kneel as ye should in the dust. The sound of a rock being struck cut her off, for Tekio, who had been sharpening his obsidian blade, used it to create sparks that set his tent alight. He raised his blade and charged forward, letting fly his blade at the Earth Mother's messenger. The blazing edge cleaved the poison serpent molded from soil with ease. But as Tekil was about to follow through, he saw his brother's eyes and the blood staining his brother's hands. That instant was all the time the wounded viper needed to escape, yet nigh fully charged it was still. And the Earth Mother's eye reduced almost to ashes. The tri this tribe was destroyed, and never again was there a chance it would dare defy her. Thus did the Earth Mother comfort herself as she retreated into the darkness. How Tokyo wished to call it Rimok's name, but the burning dust caught in his throat and so he could only watch as his brother vanished into the night. The night at last passed, Tekio, who stood amidst the ruins, knew that the surviving tribe's people could no longer stay. Bearing his confusion and pain deep in his heart, he led them on a new journey. They crossed mountains and canyons, dodging fearsome beasts and poisonous insects. Tekio did not close his eyes for so long as they journeyed, nor did he dare to loosen his grip on the weight of torch. Finally, by a silent volcano, they found a tribe waiting to take them in. Only after he saw the last of his tribe peacefully fall into slumber under the old shaman's camera did he relax and collapse to the earth. When he awoke, he found himself in a blazing cave, the lava that surrounded him undulated with an erratic pulse, as if the very mountain was slowly breathing. When he stood up, the lava boiled and bubbled, and a rumbling came from all directions. Do not search for your brother. His eyes have been devoured by a cunning serpent, but I must save him and pursue that venomous snake also. His words echoed through the cave, but the goddess of mountains and fire was silent. Tekiolus prayed unto her, what my brother's name live on, I am willing to sacrifice my heart and blood in return. The goddess answered him in the echoing cave, thus said she, Your prayer have I heard, but your brother is no longer his kin. No longer your kin, his name is sunken into the deepest of depths. Tekiol raised his head and lifted his wish to the goddess, Turn my blood to fire, so my heart may illuminate the depths. I will bring my brother back before my blood runs dry. Turn my blood to fire until my soul, soul may sear and slay that serpent, I will take its head before my blood runs dry. 
When Tekio awoke once again, the old shaman of the tribe gave him a brand new sword, food, and water. Finally, the shaman crossed his shoulders and blasted him, made her fire dry, the venomous snakes venom. Thus did Tekio embark on another journey. His strength was endless, his body tireless, and his blood burned like lava. He crossed grassy fields and snowy peaks, deep valleys and high mountains, and the goddess of mountains and fire showed him the way with falling rocks and the cracks and cliffs. Thus did Tekio stride forward without hesitation. When he met his brother again, the Earth Mother mocked him once more using Rimok's body and voice. But when her claws pierced Tekiel's chest, he moved not, and said her bones were melted by his burning blood. Tekiel stared at the vicious demon lord down and said in a loud voice, My brother is gentle of heart. He surely would have made this land a better place, yet you have affronted him with your venom, smothered his virtue, slaughtered those who had faith in his virtue. Die, you despicable venomous insect, die here. As he roared, Tekiel's blood stained as it stained his obsidian void, turning it red hot in an instant. The Earth Mother watched in terror as her shell, bones, and soul were sundered. She was to scream to buy but a moment in which she could unleash her claws and tear Tekiel to ribbons. But she could make no sound, for in the fire's light, the sound soul to whom his, bo his body once born awakened. That soul cried out to his brother. I do not wish to see your blood be reduced to ash, but I have seen the light of your heart and spirit. Remember my name, brother. As long as you remember me, I will never have left. The blazing flame swept over every corner of that gloomy, frigid cavern, and every last poisonous insect was then slain, burned to ash alongside every plot and scheme, so heinous and vile. As the last drop of his blood was about to burn away, the roof of the cave above Tekil's head trembled. The fissure opened and a gem fell down and stopped up his wound. The goddess of mountains and fire spoke once more, and her voice echoed across the walls. You yet have one drop of blood. Return to your tribe, for this is your brother's wish. And I will see it fulfilled. One night, the old shaman, who had waited day after day beyond the tribe's bounds, stood to welcome the returning Tekil. But Tekil refused the water, the food, and the cheers, and said, he simply said, The venom snake is slain, and I am victorious, but I shall soon depart along with my brother took the gem from his chest, placed it upon a torch, and walked up the summit volcano. I have but one drop of blood left, but it was not left for me, but rather for justice and fairness, for the good and the brave. Use it in light of fire. Flame that shall never be extinguished. Having said that, Valiant Tekio leapt, in, leapt, leapt into the dead volcano. The earth was shaken by his heart and blood, and the volcano's own heart resumed beating. The blazing lava once more beginning to flow. The volcano weeps, as does the bravery of all the tribes. I remember there was one line that was super popular at the time, if I still remember right. After being possessed by the goddess Kuratlaku, Rimak said, I do not wish to see your blood be reduced to ash, but I have seen the light of your heart and spirit. Remember my name, brother, as long as you remember me, I will never have left. So what about the other version of the story? So the version was released only recently, the author heard a suggestion from someone and suddenly decided to try to make a stake in the fairy tale market, the story was revised. The revised version, the brothers killed the demon lord together and both survived. According to the author, this gave the story a happy ever after kind of ending. However, the revised version was not well received. After a month in the market, it had hardly sold any copies, and the books were collecting dust on the store shelves. The story editors desperately tried to get rid of the book, and have resorted to all sorts of promotions and discounts to sell it. But now the only edition of Take All the Brave you can find in the market is the newer one, whereas the older version is nearly impossible to find. I knew I couldn't bring myself to get such a poorly rated book to Neshka, so I spent a few days looking and managed to find a few copies of the old edition in a warehouse. I picked out a copy that looked relatively new and wrapped it up as a present for Neshka. If you're interested, I can give you this extra copy to read. The pages are pretty old though, so please be gentle with it. When here's a copy of the newer edition too, they gave me a free copy, I went to buy some chocolate. So that's how they're trying to sell the book. Could it really be that bad? You and Paman's curious now. Yeah, that's two more of the collection. You can read them to me while we're on the road, Paman. Okay, but you'll have to carry Paman for a while. As Paman's done reading it herself, she'll read it out for you. Let's get going. Because Lily was pretty far from the tribe, so it'll take us some time to get there. Melodious Chan. Prayer for Blessings, Holy Crested Peaks, Act 3. Blessing, right? Baraka. Someone aged copy of Take All the Brave. Spanking new copy of Take All the Brave. And... Oh, interesting. They're... More tapestries than books. And... See? It's a difference, it's the same so far. And... See? Turn to the tribe with your brother. And... Okay. <clears throat> the
The ven they took the returning Tekio and his brother Remok. They took the offered water and food and said the venomous snake is slain and we are victorious, but our hearts and blood do not remain for us, but rather for justice and fairness, for the good and the brave. Light the fire, together we shall strand and ensure that the flame is never extinguished. Yeah, they gave it a happy ending. Interesting. Let's check the others. Signs of the canopy. The name is where the springs return and... What the one was called? Yupanki's Turnfire. Turnfire Maipo is Kinuja's name. Blessing told the crest it speaks. Blessing is Shion ends, but this was where the springs return, if I recall correctly. And there wasn't really any real mention there of unity, though to be fair, I'm pretty sure you can do that one before Milani awakens as a hero anyway, so that's probably part of it. Okay. okay. Alright. That's just Run over. I... Right. That would be the best way to get there. This will work. Because they're all the way down there. Now we can... Run the rest of the way. Go. Cool. Yep. Over there. It's the right spot. And they have, well... Had a full Gistin now. There we go. Luckily, we can replenish it ourselves by doing transmission. So we go on now. Yanku, Nishka's still resting. Wine. Dizoli, we're here. We're at Tachi. And. Likes us. Okay. Ah, oh, screen shaking. Oh, what a surprise. Even Shuan is here too. We came to visit Nishka. It's been a while since I've seen you last, Auntie. Azoli Olashan. I received Nishka's letter. She wanted a copy of Take It the Brave, right? I brought the book for her. There are several editions of the book and not one. I wasn't sure which version she'd prefer. As a messenger from the Signs of the Canopy, it seems a soft cover edition. It's one of the most popular options, so I brought it for Nishka. Hey, you haven't changed a bit, Shuan. Let's go inside. I was just boiling some chocolate, so I can all try some. Hmm. She went in and used to love drinking chocolate. When she was little, she would always have several cups every time she came to visit me. We are already a big girl by the time I finally had my Nishka. Alright, for now, let's... Oof. Oh, I didn't even notice. She's got the ears, too. Auntie, let's go inside. Traveler, please help me get her into the house. Sure thing. Oh, Paimon will help, too. And you can see Paimon over there help plan with the... Tap of stories for a little bit. Be good, Yanko, and don't get in the way. Wine. All right, let's get indoors. Watch your step now, Auntie. And help Tazoli into the room to rest. Enter Tazoli's home. Interesting. And we're gonna see the kid again, or I don't even remember if we saw the kid the first time. It's been that long since we did the first quest. Sorry, Nature's illness has been forming up recently, so he's up for a few nights. Suddenly starting to feel dizzy in the sun. I hope I didn't scare you. Have a seat. I'll fetch you a cute few cups of chocolate. I'll please wait a moment. I've already brought them over. This cup's for you, Aunt Chizoli, and these are for you, too. Kuchiwa Anta Tachi no. These for you, yeah. Chocolate, what does it taste like? Pumpkins heard that it can be pretty bitter. Traveler, could you give it a try first? Don't worry, Traveler, out. Auntie always adds lots of sugar, it won't be bitter. This chocolate was from the Aztecs. That is true. It's a new world drink. Last time you came to visit, you were still just a kid, but now you're a pillar of the children of Echoes. No, well, not one even. It's all thanks to the drinks I had here and the books I happen to read. In quotes for quite some time, then. Heard that you two are from the same tribe, but Paman had no idea you were so close. When I was little, my parents were always talking about how skilled Auntie was at forging ancient names, and how she was such a good role model for all the rest of us. The moment I became idle at home, they would toss me into Auntie's workshop to watch and learn. Then your parents would go back, I would boil you a pot of chocolate and let you play in the house. Yeah, then I would drink and listen to Bang Yue with your tools in the workshop. Gun, gun. But eventually she moved out of the tribe to find some more space for her workshop, and I didn't have the chance to visit again after that. But why did he seem so familiar with the place when he went to the kitchen with the drinks just now? 
Because the layout of this place is identical to her old house. Let me see. Ah, oh, that should be Neshka's bedroom then. That's right, hey, I remember you used to hunker down in the room to read and draw. Are you all grown up now? Even if you wanted to live here, I'm afraid you've already outgrown Neshka's bed. So you seem like family, and soon it seems just like an older sister to Neshka. So Neshka sees Shionen too. Whenever she's feeling better, she always asks me when her pen pal sister would be coming to visit. I'm here now, I even brought a gift as an apology. I'll leave the book here. So Nishka asked you for the book. I hope it wasn't too much trouble to get. Well, I'm surprised that she even asked you for a present when she's at home. She even asked me for permission to eat some snacks. Let me see. Here for blessings. Horse echoes. And... Look on the page. Nishka... How many do we actually get to see her, or do not actually get to see the daughter? Which, I think, means that the daughter might actually be dead. Let's just see. Yeah, because we never actually talk to her directly or see her. Meaning, mm, yeah, okay. Said so Nishka, asks, well, I'm surprised that she even asked you for a present when she's at home. She even asked me permission to eat some snacks. So I may have been too strict with her. She's obviously starting to like a big sister more than her own mother. Really, what? Say I really haven't done enough to deserve the title of big sister. I wasn't able to help her when she was sick, and I didn't even come and properly visit her that many times. The only thing I've been able to do is to help her find some books. Don't be too hard on yourself, she You have great responsibilities as the name engraver of the tribe. But no, you are far too busy to take care of her. Responsibilities on your shoulder also make him far heavier when I give up on my work. You just have more important things to tend to, Auntie. No one at the tribe blames you. We'll know that Nishka needs her mother's care. But that doesn't change the fact that I gave up my work, and even now, I still have not found the courage to pick up my hammer again. So to leave you to shoulder all the responsibilities alone, Shionen? Da da da. Well, why so somber all of a sudden? Oh, don't be so sad, everyone. Hasn't Nishka been better lately? Lux Auntie, I can handle the work, but once Nishka's back on her feet, she get back to work and let me have a vacation. i will be the one who's busy then, and I'll be sitting inside drinking chocolate and cheering you on. Yeah, if that day really comes, you can have as much chocolate as you like. So how did Nishka get so sick? Is her condition really that serious? Yeah, if you asked me before, I wouldn't have even been able to talk about it. But now that she's gradually recovering, I also gained some courage to face what happened back then. Nishka's illness actually originates from the Abyss. That night, I was in the tribe having a discussion over the forging of new ancient names. Before we could finish our discussion, the arms started to ring outside, a horde of monsters from the Abyss suddenly attacked the tribe, so everyone banded together to fight them off. I joined the fray as well, and it wasn't until the monsters were repelled that I got back home with some guards from the tribe, but Nishka was gone. I can't remember how long I spent searching for her, maybe for two or three days. Then we found Nishka at the bottom of a short cliff. She was holding a dried up Embergor flower in her hand, and there were traces of abyssal corruption around her wounds. I know it was all my fault. Before the incident, Nishka had asked if I could forge an ancient name for her. Work was busy at the time, so I told her that if she could find an Embercore flower, I'd use it as material to forge her an ancient name to distract her. Nishka, my daughter, my Nishka. I was holding her in my arms, but no matter how many times I called her name, she wouldn't open her eyes and look at me. I was the one who decided to move my workshop to the outskirts of our tribe for work, and I was the one who left, left her home alone. Sobs, my daughter, my Nishka, why do you have to suffer like this, Sobs? Oh, hey, hey, it's okay, right? Nishka's getting better. Shorty has a strength for it wetters now, doesn't she? We are well. She went and has even brought her a gift. Please drink some water first, things will get better. Well, oh, they could easily be faked. Sorry, I just can't control myself remember, whenever I remember that time. If you're alright, it's not every day that we get guests. I really shouldn't be crying like this. I asked someone to buy some ingredients for me, so why don't you stay for dinner tonight? Like some shrimp bisque, grilled fish, and mint sauce, and tower tacos. Well, huh? That sounds like a lot to make, and we don't want you to tie yourself out. You fucks my cooking skills, enough talk, let's start with a fried egg. Ah, thank you both, don't worry, it's just a few dishes, I'll be fine. You three just need to make sure everything gets eaten up, I can't eat a lot these days. Well, we haven't had anything to eat yet, so don't worry, we'll make sure there are no leftovers. I'm um, supposed to pick between, I can eat an entire fish myself. Oh, it just occurred to me that she wouldn't like to eat cheesy crab hot pot. Why don't I make that instead of the grilled fish and mint sauce? I remember you don't like picking up fish bones. 
Well, if it's faked, then it makes some sense. Both are fine with me, I'm going to just chew up the fish bones now. Oh, come on now, if you don't want to pick out the bones, I can just take them out for you. Anyway, for dessert, would you like a cup of grain fruit? Which is just a lote or ch chocolate. Grain kapo. Cup of grain fruit chocolate. How about a... A lote mixed with chocolate? Okay, got it. I'll go start cooking, but could you do me a favor in the meantime? I ordered a bunch of ingredients, and they should be here any minute now. Would you go check by the door and see if they were already here? If so, please, please bring them in. I'm chilling and stop lying around. You shouldn't not before dinner or ruin your appetite. No, I'm not a kid anymore, you know. You don't have to worry about my appetite. Beside the point, if you don't watch out for your health while you're so young, then when you get older, you'll... All right, all right, I'm getting up. And... I'll go check on the ingredients for Shionen. It isn't far, so it shouldn't take us long. Saw that kid. Not caught that up. And helped was only retrieve the goods. And we can't check the doors right now, it seems, yeah. Zoe, suspicious. That kid, she's just like Nishka. Gonna get locked out or something if we leave. I'll see. And over here. <sighs> And what's going on? Anything special? Oh. Hmm, no one's come to deliver the ingredients yet. Paman thought we'd see someone come flying down on a Yunka sort as soon as we came out. Messenger from the sands of the canopy wouldn't be flying, but they usually come climbing down the cliffs nearby. We need to walk, there isn't anyone on the cliffs. Should we keep walking? Maybe the delivery person got lost. Popo, I just saw a ghost panting. Hey, you there, sorry, but it's as long as you live around here. Or are you the one who's supposed to deliver the ingredients? I don't see any ingredients. Ingredients? Are you kidding? I was nearly eaten myself. Oh, never mind that now. Those monsters are still hot in my heels. Please, you've got to help me. Shiona and Weeha, where'd she go? Find them off? Oh, she's already gone to fight the monsters. Let's go help her out. Angry Saurians and an avatar of lava. Okay. And... Chase the monsters away, and this is a trial shionen. Their sword. And a flowers, defense, and elemental damage bonus. Everyone gets that. Defense up, and... That's good defense. And the max point for that is... 32,000. Okay. Artifacts are... Can't view them. Didn't even give a lot of defense for that. That's amusing. Okay. Cons. Geo always active. The buffs. That's nice. And. Okay, interesting. Hmm. I. Yeah, this here. It's a ladder trout. Do you want to this? And. Cool. Keep that going with feel like it. But not really. Alright, and come on. And hit. Ooh, good damage. And there we are. Nice. Okay. Decent enough. Alright, that should be it for the monsters. It was easier than I thought. It also seems we're unlocked. The goods weren't damaged either. Strange we didn't see any monsters on the way here. Must have terrible luck. You didn't provoke them, did you? Yeah, right. I use this road to over goods all the time, and I've never been attacked like this before. It's the main road in and out of the tribe, so people often come here to clear out any monsters. This area is usually very safe. I don't know what happens, but it seems like all the monsters around here have gone berserk. I mean, the docile to pet with swords are in a frenzy. Besides, so Zoe doesn't even forge ancient names anymore, so why can't she just move back to the tribe? If she comes back, Nishka will even be able to find some playmates. She's so young and hasn't even grown. If she's not alive anymore, on Nishka's playmates, no way, I feel like my kids have played with her before. They've even told me up Nishka's favorite game, if I remember right, it was... So memories surrounding Nishka seem to be getting corrupted. Strange, I always remembered it before. How could I forget all of a sudden? Look at that, he has a boy's gem inscription, too. So clearly they're malefic in some kind of way, so what shouldn't be the problem? There's quite a market for those inscriptions. Attracting monsters, ruining memories. You should go back to the tribe. Seems like you had quite the scare today. We'll take the ingredients back for you. Here are these bags, you two can carry the rest. Sure thing, Palmon can help too. 
Oh, sure, a pumpkin can tear these grain fruit that fell out of the bag and eat them. Did you say so? Plop off. Thank you so much. I guess today's just a really bad day for me to go outside. Hmm. It's so weird why is everyone we run in today having trouble remembering stuff and they're all came in blazed your inscriptions. Someone's not sure how to say it, but she's got a strange feeling about this, like it's all somehow related. So if long enough, you'll eventually start experiencing strange days like this. Let's put the ingredients back to the Zoli, otherwise we won't have anything to eat tonight. Hmm, return to Sizzoli's house. Bad news, huh? Okay. We can skate the rest of the way, I suppose. Maybe another Night Soul transmission. Let's get some Fulgiston back. Alright. And return to Zoli's house. Oh, you're finally back. What took you so long? I was starting to worry. We ran into some small problems, said everything's fine now. Alright, as long as everything's okay, you all have a seat. I'll get the food ready. It won't take long. She's gonna poison us or. Zoli gets to work on the food. After cooking for some time, delicious dishes are set on the table one after another. Oh, there's so much tasty food. You're amazing to Zoli. They were all pretty simple dishes to make. Don't be shy. Dig in, everyone. What we like to start with, Paimon? No, flying on the table, Paimon. But Paimon can't reach that dish. Could you give Paimon some? Come on, come on. Can I get another serving, serving, please? You're done already? Do you even chew when you're eating? Of course, I say I chew up the fish bones. I'll have just one more fish and leave the rest for Neshka. So okay, just go ahead and eat all you like. Yeshka yeah, can't eat these dishes anyway. Because she's dead. Her body is too weak to digest those kinds of things. I'll just make some broth for her. Oh no, but Paman thought she had already recovered from her illness. Injuries caused by the abyss cannot be undone. The doctor said the fact that she's stable is already quite a miracle. So we're going to go try to purify her, presumably, and she's going to stop us to cover up the illusion. But it's okay, Nish can talk to me now. You can hold my hand. It's more than I could ask for. Nish will never again know that I'm her mother. But what do you mean? The doctor said the abyss has had an irreversible effect on Nishka's soul. She, she's lost all her memories from before she was injured. The doctor also said that this sort of memory loss isn't like simply forgetting something. Rather, she can no longer remember anything from before that fateful day. Oh, but how does that happen? You know about the woven scrolls that the masters of the night wouldn't use to record things, right? Well, generally speaking, forgetting things is like when the woven scrolls would gradually start to fade. As long as you repay and weave the threads again, the faded memories will come back to life. But in the case of Nisha's memory was as if her woven scroll had been cut in two. The portion of the past was burned to ashes. The book she loved to read, the flower she took joy to grow, and the time she spent in this house were all cut off by the abyss and can never be retrieved again. It's one example of that, Nishka now only sees me as a strange and familiar auntie who claims to be her mother. She's a good kid and doesn't want to upset this lady who's been taking care of her so much, so she still calls me mom. But I've always had a feeling that she's constantly wondering about things like where's her real mother. Was she stuck here in this house? Was she abandoned? Nishka really has no idea that her real mother is right in front of her and has never left. So you plan on recreating Nishka's woven scroll all by yourself? What do you mean? Memory loss, Sophia. The boy's gem inscriptions? Or should I say you've already started weaving that scroll long ago? Boy's gem inscription? Whose is it? The delivery guy's that saw it hanging from his waist so I asked to borrow it from him. Da da da. Don't worry, I'll return the inscription and once we figure it out, these things aren't cheap after all. When did you know? From the start? Or? Oh, I noticed it back when boys' inscriptions suddenly became popular among the tribe. It's then that I also noticed that everyone living boys' inscriptions had varying degrees of memory loss. Trevor, you've picked up on it too, haven't you? Everyone's memory loss had something to do with Neshka. Yep. Accessories made using ancient name forging techniques for what's only supposed to be a pretty souvenir. This inscription contains a full gist and grave with truly overkill level complexity. Amari Fukuzatsu, very complex. Shape and patterns of these engravings are also identical to that of an ancient name. I'm making just a few slight adjustments to the Latin connections in the main pattern and pretty much qualify this voyage of inscription as a bona fide ancient name. And yet you've never told anything, anyone about these engravings and the voyage of inscriptions that can be activated at any time. Am I right, Auntie? You didn't tell anyone, right? I always knew you were a sharp one, Shilin. That's right, I have a way to cure Nishka and restore all her memories. It's actually quite simple. I want to forge an ancient name for Nishka that contains all of her past memories. I'm going to make an ancient name for Nishka, but ancient names must be approved by the Wyob. And the reason they must be approved by the Wyob is because the memories they bear are all stored within the ley lines. 
Extracting those memories from the lay ones requires the wife's assistance. Your plan wouldn't need you to do any of that, right, Auntie? Your boy's demonstrations will help you complete that part of your plan in the lay ones' place. We'll use the inscriptions to form a massive memory bank for Neshka. The ancient name you're trying to forge will be used to extract corresponding memories from the memory bank. The memory banks are the re wait, so the reason all those people were having troubles remembering stuff is because the boy's demonstrations took away any memories awaited to Neshka. Even though Neshka has forgotten her own past, her life was still witnessed by other people. Using other people's memories of Neshka to reconstruct her past, this is the first time I've heard of such an idea. Seems my point, Shuanan, you're as outstanding as ever, far more brilliant than me. I intend to use this method to call out all the memories of Neshka and allow her to regain her past again. But wouldn't extracting memories like that hurt the person carrying the boy's gem inscription? <laughs> Not at all. Every time a boy's gem inscription extracts memories, the process is under my precise control. That way, there's no chance of anyone in the tribe getting hurt. This is the central inscription that controls all the other boys' gem inscriptions. It will also soon serve as Nesha's ancient name. Made all this yourself to Zoe, even though it's not an official ancient name, that's all what to do on your own. Yes, it was lots and lots of work. It was truly exhausting. Perhaps I've just grown old. You saw it yourself, and you really fainted just from being in the sun. You could collapse tomorrow or even the next few moments, but Neshka's ancient name is still far from completion. I've solved the issue of storing memories, but I still don't know how to connect Neshka up to the central inscription. I'll let you just modify your own ancient name. She has one too. I consider this, but this matter doesn't have anything to do with my ancient name. It's of no help to me, and I don't need its help now. You know the price to pay for making something like this. Yes, I do, but as long as I can get my Neshka back, I'm willing to do whatever it takes. Why is Neshka won't have any chance to reclaim her pants once I'm past once I'm dead and gone? So making an ancient name usually kills its creator, right? So they said last time. She won't remember me, and she won't even remember why her name is Neshka. When the time comes, she'll be left to drift around the world all alone, unknowing of where she came from or where she would go. She's my daughter, the one to whom I gave the Neshka name. Whether it be as her mother or as a name engraver, I can't simply stand by and let her name disappear. She went in. She'll only think about this for a moment, let her decide what to do. I'll take the central inscription from me. I'm going to completely disassemble to confirm its components and uses. I won't make any promises until I've checked everything. Say goodnight to Neshka for me, Auntie. Oh, wait, I've also finished the inscriptions for the travel in Paimon. The, the name. Let me finish them for you. Interesting. I'm sorry it took me so long to finish them. Hold on, Auntie. Travel in Paman, I've never met Nishka before, so you can't draw any memories from them. So what would the proofs be? That wasn't my intention, they're just ordinary gifts, please take them. It probably won't be. Oh, what was that noise? Nishka must have woken up and wants to get out of bed on her own, so I'll go check on her first. Nishka, don't try to get out of bed, just tell mom if you need anything. You go ahead and take care of Nishka, auntie. Let's go, Travel in Paman, there are a few things I want to tell you. Presumably that Neshka is probably dead. Let's head back to the tribe first. There are some things I need to get from my workshop. Faint signal lingers. Is assembling the central inscription, it's not going to be easy. Hmm. Uh, interesting. Put this out just for fun. Want to see what happened if I went back in. She went in. Faint signal lingers. Siwonan has caught a glimpse of the boy's gem inscriptions forging process and has guessed what Tazoli means to use them for. For safety reasons, she'll dis dismantle this particular inscription and analyze its inner workings first, and then decide whether to help Tazoli save the gravely ill Neshka. It's going to be interesting to see what we decide. Because I'm not even sure Neshka is even alive right now. Not saying anything there. We'll go back here then. And figure out what to do from here. Very, very curious. Very, very curious. Let's get a bit of health back and get our Phobiston back and have Shulanan run down to our workshop. Cool. It's going to be interesting to see when Yansan comes back because I'm pretty sure that Yansan is going to be even faster ground movement, because Shion and strength, well, Echo strength is still climbing. Two can wait outside for a moment, I just need to go in and grab something, the workshop is a little messy, so unfortunately I won't be able to show you around, but I want to have a look, and this is what I like best. 
Heads? Oh, that's not really what I mean. It's not mess that's really the problem. Oh, hi. Good to see you again. How are you? As Leo Bona, do you mean Leopard? Leopard? Leopard woman? Long time no see. And you're you're traveling right now, right? It's just that the workshop is cluttered with way too many stuff, books, files, and even ancient texts I got from Masters of the Nightwind. And... Everything's piled up to the ceiling. You probably won't know where to step once you're inside. Kachina suffered quite an unfortunate series of events the last time she went inside. They mentioned her tripping around at the end of last quest in the workshop. Ahem, I suppose it's my fault for being so focused searching for information in the town that I forgot to lock the door. Let me... Leo Bona? That... Leo Bona? When, when I look him up, I see... Just some guy. Flint Michigiana Leo Bona. I... I'm profoundly confused. There are eight people in chat right now. Okay. For, for some background to the couple people who are... Just here normally. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that the people I, I was inquire with have decided to just all come in and say hi to me. Which is interesting. Fault for being so focused on searching for information at the time that I forgot to lock the door. Yeah, ev everyone say hi to everyone say hi to everyone's favorite Italian. Okay, after running the workshop, she was so shocked to find herself face to face with the massive woven scroll from the Masters of the Night Wind. And she turned around and knocked over a huge stack of forging blueprints. She tried to step out of the way, but tripped on a poster tube that was behind her, and then boom, forging blueprints come crashing right down onto her head. I can't believe that a kid died in her workshop and she just didn't do anything about it. Oh no! Must have heard it was Kachina, okay? So lucky I noticed in time, I found Kachina in a day as a match to save her for an entire set of kiss her, the children of Echo's about to bury her and then drag her up at the second floor. So next patch we're getting Nightwind stuff, the fortune teller people stuff. Ever since then, Kachina always waits outside the door and doesn't dare take a step in whenever she comes to see me. There are really that many books inside. I thought a workshop was supposed to be full of tools. Interesting. But given that her whole deal is also dealing with history to make magic talismans it's interesting because she's basically a blacksmith but she's also a dj because record discs in this universe are actually made out of stone this is the real mushin eigen himself i feel like i'm being i'm being perplexed in so many ways at once you're an artisan and craftswoman after all we thought there would be weapons and armor hanging all over the place rio bona that is Leo Bona the new Virgil Andronaki? For reference, there, there was this choir tradition where we would try to rhyme, th this weird song where we'd rhyme various words named after this one guy. And it, it seems like they may have supplanted his name with the name of a different person. A, a, a Leo Bona, who I do not have any awareness of. But it seems more like a library than a workshop. Okay. Also, b back when I was in choir, I would do a bunch of top ten lists for the sake of humor when we would go driving around between places. And I, I was asked this morning or last night, the, the cat hair, my, my allergic reaction to the animals in the house is definitely messing me up. I was asked to do one. I, I wonder if they're trying to milk me for material run out. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. They need a top ten for the boss. I feel like they're trying to milk material right now from here. It seems more like a library than a workshop. While well, my primary work is forging ancient names, exactly. It is much trickier than making swords and tools. Aside from the necessary craftsmanship, I also need to consult many ancient texts. Yeah, exactly, because it's basically recording history in stone. Probably already know that the ancient name represents a certain spirit behind which are countless related stories to support it. So you're saying that Leo Bona is Italian and was with my chatter in elementary school? Is that what I'm hearing? I, I may be going crazy. In other words, the essence... But basically what's going on right now is that this blacksmith woman is trying to use magic forging arts to basically drain people's memories, to restore the memories of her daughter, who is probably actually dead. I used to like granola. Well, I, I used to make these oatmeal muffins for myself. So... So this is Leo Bona. Okay. The real Leo Bona. 
Account created 25 seconds ago, following since 9 seconds ago. Am I gonna get followed by 20 different Leo bonus today? Oh, well, that... Distrax? This is Sawcon, actually. The Mushin Eigen stream is Sawcon. Happens at least 3 or 4 times a week. You're Leo Bona? I, I feel like this is gonna be one of those Squidward kind of situations where... You, you know that you know the... Are there any other Leo Bonas I should hear about? You know, the, ep the episode where the woman tries to come in to help Squidward sell his funny Squidward house and... Everyone is... Everyone is Squidward and they all mess around with their faces and noses and... And then Gary comes in pretending to be Squidward and just says meow. Well, SawCon, it's a convention. Have you, you know the movie Saw? I haven't ever seen it myself, but I know a lot of horror fans. So every year we go, we go to SawCon to celebrate the movie Saw and the character of Jigsaw. And we all wear the funny Jigsaw mess. And yeah, everything's, spon everything's SpongeBob. Okay. But... For reference, th this is for the Italian. I'm not sure I ever told you this story. But back a few years ago, when I was a sophomore in choir, one of the performances we would do was basically Christmas caroling. Identity theft is not a joke. That's right, Leo Bona. You're the only Leo Bona around. And basically what I was... They, they got the, inquire, the entire choir to watch. Not well, much with... Okay. Okay. This is this is how I get dogs. This is how I get dogs. <laughs> They're watching the text only Genshin quest. It's not even gameplay. It's just the quest. I'm not drinking soda, I'm drinking water. Bus announcement to <laughs> Oh my goodness. But as as I was saying, as I was saying. Basically there was this upperclassman, and by upperclassman I mean one year. Reach to your left. Okay, on my left, I see a giant sword on my wall that my dad won in a Game of Thrones miniature game tournament. Not for being good at the game, but having the best painted army. 2021 National Championships. On the right, I see a roll of electrical tape that I... It did fall on me once. And the people in my house got mad at me for yelling because the sword hit me. Luckily, it's blunt and it makes you Moana. Frankly, I prefer Maui. But as I was saying, a roll of electrical tape. So yesterday, my, my PC crashed because my PC case is too small to fit a bunch of fans inside. And it basically the CPU overheated. And when I was on my way out of the door, I brushed my finger against, you know how when you open, how the little wedge the locking mechanism in a door sometimes there's a little sharp little wedge that makes the other wedge fit into its little nesting hole to keep the door shut my finger got sliced open sliced right open oh my don't my diona leo bona how leveled is your diona god only knows what i'd be without you if you should ever leave me but Basically, my finger got sliced open. Real life gore. Real life gore. And I had to use some band-aids. You see, the funny story is that the only band-aids we have in the bathroom right now are these Wonder Woman band-aids. And I was going out in public the next day, so I had to look for a first aid kit to just find the normal bandages. That one fell off, and now I'm wearing the Wonder Woman band-aid. But I I'm still... I'm s I need to put out music soon. Oh, peel peelish, peelish. I bought a Venti's Black Hole. He does have a really, really good, really good burst. I love him. You hate being sober? You're lucky I cleaned up the clubhouse a couple weeks weekends ago. You're lucky. You are allowed to croon in this game. You actually are. There, there are musician characters. My Mona and my Diona are both level 90. They're both maxed out. They used to be part of my best team with... Okay, well, I gotta wait for this cutscene first. Let me just scroll through the cutscene. So manifestation of a certain spiritual will. Basically, we're, we're in the Mesoamerica slash Sub-Saharan Africa region right now. Everyone's whitewashed, but at least the lore is good. Well, I... Will the real Leo Bona please stand up? Will the real Leo Bona please stand up? 
But basically, my finger is sliced open. I'm the only person at home right now taking care of animals that I'm severely allergic to. But at least I'm chilling. Yeah, my house is my house is the animal. Streaming, streaming, streaming Genshin to Italian women is the animal. For reference, the back of our tour bus was always called the animal. And if you said something stupid, you would get sent there. Luckily, no one would use it because then everyone else would have to smell it too. But I got, I got sent there a lot. I, w I was in the... Chat? <laughs> Chat brat? <laughs> That's funnier than I expected. Okay. You are not a dog! I never called you a dog. I called you an Italian. Maybe you think that's worse. Maybe you think that's worse. Okay. When I'm working on a new ancient name, I'm not only trying to give it a phys physical shape. I would say send a senior to the animal, but that would take away the honor I have of being the only senior who was ever sent to the animal as a senior. Okay, and it, but more importantly, I'm also trying to understand the spirit contained within the name. And to do that, I have to collect as many related stories as possible and read through them all. But as you might know, people tend to add in a lot of extraneous details when it comes to stories about themselves. Palindrome. Stories that have been clearly exaggerated or altered. Let's gather other related stories or information as cross-references. I... I don't know enough of them by name. There was that one guy... Who went by Thunder Eagle in that one little game of sort of, not really charades, but sort of drunk red light, green light last year that I was witnessing. And he was, he was funny. Yeah, send Leo Bona to the animal. Send everyone who ever claimed to be Leo Bona to the animal. Have them fight it out to determine the real Leo Bona. Okay. Related stories or information is cross-references. This way I can filter out all the absurd and exaggerated details and restore the person's life to its true nature. Top 10 Leo Bonas. Only in true stories can you find the authentic spirit. And this is the only way for the spirit to become an ancient name that matches its essence. Leo Nina? Well, it... Okay. So first, up, first of all, the lore of this game is basically Valentinian Gnosticism, just ripped off outright, with some of the patches filled in by other world mythologies. So in other words, if you're familiar with Gnosticism, there are seven gods who rule the world for the sake of the Demiurge, the sort of pseudo-devil who created the world. But there's an eighth in this game, that's Leo Bona. Ruling over the secret eighth continent, we're not going to get that continent for a couple more years, but I re rest assured when Leo Bona becomes playable, he's going to he's gonna be the strongest character in the game. And we are for the spirit to become an ancient name that matches its essence. I, I will enable your horny post, I guess. We've heard about the concept behind ancient names before, but after you hear explain the details, come and count that ancient names are really powerful, only they can be even more powerful. But how powerful ancient names could be, they would never be able to suddenly turn to a blade or only like smash through. The entire quiff in one punch. It's a form of spiritual power that's passed down from generation to generation, doesn't have those kinds of physical and tangible effects. Take your own names, for example, from the money appeared in this world, for an already prepared a blessing for you. It... I did not expect this to happen. I expected the people on tour to be doing tour-related things. The person then connects this blessing to your name and give it to you as a gift. I feel like the moment you receive your name is already in the past, but it will always stay with you and move with you into the future. It's so blessings for the future and people standing in the past. That's what Aunt Vizzoli once told me. This blessing, people will become more confident as they walk into their future. Put it another way, it's like having a lap of your hand as you walk through the dark of night. Palmon gets out of your own when you're walking the dark. It's easy to get scared and tired quickly. Once this cutscene is done, I'll show you the Mona you want to see, but if someone else is walking with you, but it won't be nearly scary, and while you might still get tired, it'll be a whole lot better than walking alone. Travel always upon the side, though, so you'll never have to worry about that. Interesting. Pop on sure many wish they could be in your shoes, Traveler. Because you're always the one to get tired when we're on the road. I love our cute little mascot. Pommon's always flying, of course he gets tired, but we're getting off topic, we can talk about that later. About to fall asleep, I mean, next time, let's try not to eat so much. Well, thank you for popping in, it was good to see you all. Good luck with your performance tonight. I miss you too. I'll see you again next time I can drive up. Anyway, this is what Chazoli told me about his training as a name engraver. Goodbye, Leo Bona. To be honest, I've only understood 20% of what you said at most. I've never been able to figure out the rest. Doesn't that- Leo Bona. Doesn't that basically mean you don't get it? Enjoy. Enjoy singing. Enjoy singing. I hope you do...
I don't know. I remember there was this one song that the small group performed once that was about being your own granddad. Because your dad married your ex-wife or something. I... I don't agree, but Paimon is a fun mascot character. But doesn't that basically mean you don't get it? Yeah. Well, that's not entirely true. Auntie and I have always come to a consensus on the most important thing. I'm sick of telling. We can talk about this more later. Please wait a moment while I grab my things. Go on and fall, or we'll see what happens. She went and opens the door and walks into her workshop. Some unsettling crashing sounds come from the workshop. It makes some agonizing creaks and screaks. Eventually, she went and rushes out the door with a box in her arm. She then turns around and kicks the door closed, shutting the sound and dusty books while they go around inside. It really made another girl fair a failure character. Got the box at least to hear a whole section of something collapsed in there just now. Cops, it's fine, it's fine. It was just a bunch of very old ancient name records, so I made copies of them. Kept the set of focus and wedges in the back, so it wasn't easy to take out, and I had to resort to brute force. Come on, let's go disassemble the central inscription. It shouldn't take long. If Prince of Mo is still here, you can see... I can show you that one team I used to run with Mona. I'll just switch it out real quick. It would be... Dayona, Ganyu, Venti, and... Mona. I run her with... I don't imagine he's still here. Basically use her skill twice to produce a bunch of energy to power the team's supers. Put down her super to just hit everything. You use his super to group everyone up so they all get hit by all the super attacks. And then she freezes everyone so they're easy to hit. You can show the two remaining people real quick how that works in practice, I guess. It's actually pretty cool. Right over here, it... If you want to see it that much, you can see it. If you want to see it that much, you can see it. Okay, everyone, everyone's gone now. They're busy singing. By the way, that's... Let me see. That's 196 followers. Not bad. Let's see what happens. You know, I thought... So cruel, so brutal. Yeah, well... I can only love you so much. Okay, let's do this thing. And... Come on, come on. This is more or less the right side to do it from, and... Oh, you... She doesn't have enough energy right now, that's right. It's been a while since I used this team, right? And let's... Scroll you all up, and... There we go, cool. And... So a few more shots. There we go. Morgana team is really good. It's still good. For some things. Now it... Anytime Venti's good. Venti's real good and a lot of fun too. Okay. And... Let's see what happens. Helps you want to dismantle the boys' gem inscription and where. Got our team showing. Oh, right over there. Let me see. Shunan has... Yep, we saw that already. <clears throat> and... Alright. How are we doing this thing? Just want to see nothing around there. We just teleport back. Yeah, exactly. I was going to say, things slowed down a bit, but... When silly things like this happen... Got to count on flukes and strokes of luck. I... I don't even know at this point. Once I get to 200, I'll actually go to work on putting out an original song or something. Let me just think. It... Maybe... Maybe Bartender Stream. Did someone friend me? I... Help? Help? When did that happen? Maybe that's someone from club. That might have been someone from club. That'd be really funny if it was. Either way. Okay, let's continue the quest, actually. Here we are, this is the place. The problem is, is that, honestly, as sad as it is to say, also the wheel over there, that's gonna be what her motorcycle wheels look like. It's gotta be. Here we are, this is the place. This cliff is pretty high, what are we gonna do here? Are we gonna climb to the very top and throw this inscription down the cliff? 
Dissembling it, not destroying the poem. I'm sure she wouldn't know what she's doing. Gwenys forgets to make an engraving circle on the cliff wall. The wall made investigate the internals of the central inscription. Let me see if this thing can even turn on. I was still impressed this the last time I used it. The thing about it is... To be able to get a hand cam set up and then also just... Have a PC somewhere near any kind of food related stuff. I'd probably need my own place. It's okay, but it's true. But beyond that, beyond that... I also don't drink anymore. <laughs> Before we attempt to engrave the inside pattern of an ancient name, with forgets to always uses to drop the engraving diagram on a quiver open ground. When we after we've confirmed that Fulgus can flow properly through the internal engravings, start formally working on the small internal engravings in the ancient name. But, oh, I never told you the full story. Basically, we were going Christmas caroling, and as a joke, I told the guy who was in charge of scheduling that I couldn't come because I had to go to Stockholm, and he didn't get the joke, so I managed to hit him with a totally unexpected Stockholm D's nuts, and he got really, really angry. He's warmed up to the joke now, because it's the only joke that involves him, period. Yeah, I think I'll just put out an original song or something, really. If you want to dismantle the central inscription in a non-destructive manner, we'll have to use this thing. I really don't want to engram such a large diagram with my bare hands. Sort of automatic engraver, so you'll be able to see what it looks like on the inside without ruining Chazoli's inscription. For the most part, if it were just an ordinary, unfinished ancient name piece, I'd just take it apart and pour Fulgis into the internal engravings to see everything. Okay. Well, it- the music I make would not be K-pop. I couldn't make pop even if I wanted to, really. Well, K-pop style pop. It's not the kind of music I like, really. I'd probably be making something more like kind of modern indie rock or something. I don't- yeah, yeah. I, got, I figured, but... Ah, uh, that was nice. That was a fun little incident. Suicide canceled. For the most part, if it were just an ordinary unfinished ancient name piece, I'd just take it apart and bore full gifts in the internal engravings to see everything. But since it's a central inscription, it would be better not to destroy the blessing that Auntie has prepared for Neshka. So she went into this central inscription fall under the 20% you understand about ancient names, and the other 80% you don't understand. There's an 80% chance that's part of the 20%. <laughs> well... <clears throat> Is that true? Don't worry, that math doesn't check out. So I said anti and I sure in understanding the most important principle. It's- I've had ideas for songs for a while, but... Did I mention that I got- I picked up an electronic drum kit. Stayed up late a couple nights ago putting it together. I gotta learn how to really use it and fix the stool that it has, but... I can teach myself some basic drumming, I guess, and then just to lay something down for a song. Something amateurish, but decent enough. Okay, here's the thing, is that, <clears throat> one, I can sing myself. Two, Miku is really expensive. If you wanted to... That's not what I meant. Oh, that... that that's what you meant. Okay. Okay, come on. As, anti as I said, anti share and understand the most important principle, which is names are intrinsically valuable. Oh, okay. Only by having names can things be sorted and categorized, they allow the world to become more orderly and identifiable. If there was a song like that, it would be a song about being afraid of love, because it's a potential weakness that can inconvenience other people. It wouldn't be about Miku. It wouldn't be about that, directly. For example, when I order ore, <coughs> I would usually say I need volcanic crystals of about 35% purity, no more than 3% of impurities. I... It's not edgy in as much as just depressive. Without specific names, I would only be able to go to the ore merchant and say I want this and this, no this isn't it, that one, no not that one either, you see what I mean. 
Names are a crucial part of how we standardize our workflow. Without names, the work would be impossible. It makes sense you're talking about it from a technical perspective. At least you said it yourself. That's because forging ancient names is first and foremost a technical job. There's no debating that. <clears throat> As for the question of why it's important, as long as it does not affect your ability to perform the work, you'll gradually understand it as you put the process into practice. We care about efficiency above all else sounds like the most efficient approach. After all, creating an ancient name is quite the complicated process. So, let me break it down even further. Not in the Tron right now, anyway. It's central by forging ancient names that sign nicknames to the Euros and Nalan's history. Giving someone a name is a subjective expression. You just need to access your hopes and wishes for them. But it's a bit of a blessing, I suppose, right? But giving someone a nickname is a much more subjective expression. Come up with a fitting and accurate nickname requires much thought and observation. Ancient names or nicknames aren't descriptive enough, no one will remember them anyway. <clears throat> so the best I can do is gather all the information I could and try to come up with the most fitting nicknames possible. Even a modern mistake in the process could cause people to misunderstand the nickname for a name engraver such as myself, such mistakes would be considered a major blunder. All the nicknames are your specialty, see your nicknames and more thought and observation, Bama. Common isn't trying to come up with a nickname for Shiwon, and besides all Common's nicknames have been very descriptive, everyone can remember them. Now I'm curious why didn't come up with one for me. Oh, are you serious? <clears throat> of course this sells my line of work, you know, go ahead. The nickname Shiwon Ends uses for gifts and forge weapons and nicknames for others. If you're never just Paimon, you better make it a good one. Ah, uh, Smith. The Smiths. Ah, oh, not bad, not bad. I'm quite fitting too. I'll remember it. They should keep observing their work. Paimon, maybe we'll come up with an even better nickname. I'd right, time to make like a smith and start smithing. Watch closely. Hmm. Paint signal lingers. Connect the activated focus and wedges. Oh, so this is a... Sort of exploration trial for Shilin's ability. You just like seeing Venti get flustered. <laughs> trial Shilin in, okay, and connect them. Jump, adjust the inclination by two degrees, stop. Jump, wait. Oh, it wasn't fully going yet. Oh, we're. Can make some kind of inscription. The error margin is an acceptable amount. They'll extend the inscription work a little more just to be safe. Well, because it's the main, the original nickname was one for Venti. Leave some space here, and the linked engravings are activate. The inscriptions here will overlap with each other. And if I, you can't, you can go diagonally up, not diagonally down, and you cannot run down. You can only run left, right. Up left and up right and up. It's complete. Ooh, that completed it. Amazing Shunan, you were running all over the court as if it was flat ground. Is that the power of the children of Echoes? It doesn't have anything to do with my tribe, it's just the fully gets an adhesive I have on my shoes. Well, it was the roller skates, though. But after all that running around, I'll have to infuse them with more Fulgusin again. I should prepare a spare supply of Fulgusin for me next time. Tell me you're actually already covered head to toe with work equipment. Where I was saying, I usually have at least the key equipment on hand. I'm sure them do only next time the time, but let's get to work first. Let me see, start with Anchor 1. Activate with Density 3 Fulgusin. Well, that's because you did a Venti cosplay once. Oh, a super huge diagram just appeared. Ah, Fulgisten Graffiti. Oh, okay. Which is always central inscription is even floating. After some time, the blast of Fulgisten ceased and the central inscription returns to Shionen's hands. So are you done checking the inscription, Shionen? How does it look? Didn't find any anomalies in the Fuikis and engraving. All the adjustments are indeed based on ancient name engraving techniques. Saying that everything's normal, so that means... Means we can help Tozoi and Neshka now, right? Probably, but I have good news and bad news. Oh, but I'm just going to go ahead and share both, so it's not like I have a choice in the matter. Oh, 
Hama will cover your ears after the good news. Even if you cover your ears, the issue will still continue to exist, but before we get to that, I want to ask Traveler a question. Jur, what are your thoughts on absorbing memories? It's necessary to save Nishka, it somehow doesn't seem right. And you felt the same way, that'll save me some initial explanation, I've never been very good at that anyway. It's hard to control the absorption of memories, technically speaking. This type of inscription is the power to do far more than absorb memories related to a single person. By herself, Auntie can't handle that level and scope of work, but if she has accomplices, it's completely possible for her to use this inscription to accomplish far bigger things. Accomplices make it sound like she's committing a crime. Here's the good news, yes, this boy's demonstration would be the perfect tool to commit crimes if we haven't had any accomplices or signs. She intends to put it to such uses. And from a purely objective standpoint, we consider that possibility is yet to be confirmed for now. <clears throat> the bad news is, there's still an underlying problem with this boy's gem inscription that cannot be ignored. We've mentioned this poor ancient names operate with the help of the Wyon, granting them the power to read information kept in the ley lines. In the process, the Wai have actually functioned like a relay, solving the ancient name bearer since the information from within the ley lines. To remove the Wai from the process and don't use any tools and finding specific stories akin to trying to scoop up a specific grain of sand from a Russian river. So before you're even able to retrieve the sand, you would most likely drown. Exactly, anyone who attempts to do so will likely lose most of their cognitive function and become a babbling madman who talks to themselves all day long. What's considered with memories that Lanty has gathered is the ley line, and Nishka is the only ancient name bearer of this ley line. There's no way Ant would let Nishka plunge into the river of memories without any tools. She'd only be overwhelmed by the surge of memories. And considering that Nishka has forgotten all of her past, she'll be unable to work on her own to actually find the correct past. Only Ant Rizzoli can help her filter the correct memories of her past. So if my hypothesis is correct, Auntie is all actually planning on turning herself into Nishka's a while to help her extract the corresponding memories in different situations you may face. In the ideal world, this would be perfectly fine as long as every extracted memory is correct. Nishka would essentially be getting her past back. Excuse me, and I also believe that there won't be any mistakes in everything that Auntie remembers about Nishka. But Auntie is not a while, her body won't be able to handle the load for long. So at any moment she might just say, see, this is the problem that we can't ignore. But how can we solve this problem? No matter how we try to do it, well, she's already made up her mind, she's ready to pay the price. Names are blessings from the future from, pe future from the people standing in the past, right? Blessing, Baraka. I've also made up my mind. Come on, let's go see Auntie. Hmm. And we've still got that big pattern there, which is fun. Turn to it's Rizzoli's house. And... let me see... Oh, goodness. Let's keep on climbing. Jumps are a lot of fun. Shuen end gameplay is... exploration-wise is good. I do like the fact that even the off-field characters have a lot of good exploration uses. So it means you get to do... do you get to see them a good amount? A lot of people, I've seen people complain about how kind of clunky the whole E-press and then two normal attacks is for Shilinen. But I actually like it a good deal in the sense of that it means that you do get to see her cool looking normals, even if you don't have cons that allow her to, or a team set of the auto allow her to actually do stuff on field as an on-fielder. Well... I... Newbie Fury is pretty popular, I would say. And I think... The whole Navia Corin stuff... It felt... Weirdly forced. Even if it was very plainly the intended one. Yeah, but also it's, a lot of it is also that Mavlika and Capitano basically only interact with each other. In a lot of ways, I like how similar they are to each other. I think it's, it is what makes them such a good dynamic. Because both of them spend a lot of time basically... Telling each other, no, that's stupid. Don't do that. Navi and Corind? 
The thing about Navi and Chlorand is that... <sighs> she had a lot of interactions with Rathesli in the third and fourth quests of the patch. And then... No, I'm not talking about Capitano and Mavica being forced. I love that. I love them together. Yeah, I I'm saying that... <sighs> it felt like there was a bit of a swerve to... Basically trying to deconfirm Rathesli and Corinship in as strong words as possible. It... It felt like there was a kind of mad scramble, honestly. And I do mean that. Edrich was always home. Okay. She's over there. I do wonder if Nish, because he... The only one I ever hear is Kinlani. I know that... I know that some people ship Kinich with Satwali because she kind of looks like Sakura from Naruto. That... I haven't heard that one. At least Capri Sun is funny. Let me see... Well, it was mostly be before people knew that she was a young-looking immortal. just want to see something. How many of the cornerstones of stars and flames do we got? We have five of these right now. The main question is, we're going to get a sixth and then probably a couple more from... One of those came from Pledge and Forget Forgetting's... Cornerstone of Stars and Flames. One came from... Yeah, we got one from Between Fledge and Forgettance. So obviously, these are going to be used for probably Pyro Traveler's unique skill material. And people are saying, oh, this is probably a hint to what the weekly boss is. But no, it's very plainly just for Pyro Traveler specifically. I do like it. It's amusing. And now I have 181 rolls just saved up, so yeah, Chaska's coming home. I do wish Chaska's kit, which we know already, had some aspect of her sort of abyssal corruption in it, but... She went in, it looks like you made her decision, am I right? So here's some research that I've done, you can reference it and modify the way the central inscription operates. Also help you continue working on the boy's gem inscription, but also have lots of complete control over all the inscriptions and the ability to oversee their uses. Memories that can be absorbed by the inscription will be limited solely to Nishka's past. When a set time frame together from which the memories can be drawn from shortly. If you attempt to extract the memories beyond the scope, they'll consider that as committing a criminal act. Hold our work related to the central inscription. I do like that Shionen is kind of going along with this morally gray plan. After the member bank is instructed, the boy's gem inscription's absorption functions must be stopped immediately. The only function notes for outputting memories will be kept. I accept. Thank you, Shunan. I really... Auntie, you know I can't stand it when you do this. If you needed my help, you should have said so. There's no need to beat around the bush like you did. The technology for ancient names to forge other things without permission is no trivial matter. I... It's a major departure from the technologies intended to use. It's nothing compared to a child who needs help compared to a name that's about to be lost. Once this is all over, you must come to me and see, to see Paco and discuss everything that happened. This one, I'm willing to accept any punchment from my little Nezhka. Alright, let's clear up the table and come up with a plan. I need some time to consider how Nezhka control the boy's gem inscription on her own and extract the memories from her past. By the way, did you give the book to Nezhka? How could I just hand her a birthday present that you especially, especially brought for her? I picked out a box and packaged it up, wait till her birthday and then bring it to her, it'll be a nice surprise. So it's an old book, there's no need to. And the door probably fell out. What? She a zombie? Dead? Alive? What is the truth of Neshka? Was Neshka up again, but was all that noise? It sounded like something broke. Oh no, did she fall? Maybe she knocked something over. Oh, what if something fell on her? We should check. Come and go have a look. Neshka, don't hurt yourself. Okay, so she is alive. Okay. Well, she wouldn't. Is that you? Are you Neshka? can't see her face, though. That... How many times have I told you? Don't get out of bed or You were running a fever yesterday. Hello, Neshka. Thanks for the book. I've already read it several times, so... I wonder why they hit it with the plant that time. 
You've already read it, but didn't Zoe package up the book that she wasn't bought? Huh? But she's all mixed up, though. She, once she read it, isn't from Shion, then it's the one I bought for her before. A few days ago, she told me she, she wanted a book. I know nothing about this kinds of books, so I had no choice but to go to the tribe and look for a copy. I eventually found one and bought it for her. I put it in the room once I got back. Soon after, she suddenly developed a fever. I was so busy taking care of her that I forgot about the book. I even forgot that she had asked you for a gift. And do you know which version of the book you bought? Which version the shopkeeper said it was not the perfect ending to the story. Boy, really, that's the one you can find on the market now. Happy and bo. Oh, it's all my fault. You wasted your money and now it won't even be a surprise. It's all right, it's just a book. As long as Nishka enjoys it, that's what matters. Our oh, right, Nishka probably doesn't know us, we're... You're Paimon and Mr. Trevor. Mom told me about you. He yeah, seems like everyone knows who we are now. No de need to introduce ourselves anymore, huh, Nishka? Nishka seems to be doing pretty well today. Since she's been stuck indoors for the last few days, why don't we take her out for a walk? And... Probably an inquiry into what's going on with her. Let's check your temperature. Seems the fever's gone. Take her for a walk, but considering her condition, I don't think she... Don't worry, Auntie. She'll be safe with the travel and me. We won't be able to try, but if anything comes up, we'll be sure to find the doctor immediately. Besides, so it's her birthday in a few days, and we need to go to the tribe to buy some things. Let's give her a proper celebration. What do you think, Auntie? Promise I'll be good, Mom. Didn't you say before that I need more fresh air? Right, all right, as you wish. I also happen to have a few repair boys and inscriptions that I need to get back to the tribe. We can go together. And for a moment, I'll go get Neshka's water bottle and some towels, and some medicine, oh, and a parasol. Soul enters Neshka's room after quickly packing. She comes back out. Take her about being prepared. Sua Nimutsu, a great luggage. We can camp out with all that stuff. Doesn't hurt to be prepared. Okay, let's go. Please, we go down Neshka. Don't cause any trouble with Shion and the others. If you want me to carry these, don't be a stranger, Neshka. Feel free to tell us anything. And I was quite a handful for Auntie when I was little. Now, yeah, it's not often you get to go out and play, so just have fun. Everything will be fine. Don't start some trouble while you're little, then you'll never get the chance again. Okay, thanks everyone. Please don't worry, Mom. I'll be good. Hmm. Let's go look for Ikno. I've had her boys in description for a while now, and I'll finally return it to her today. And that would be... Over by the Wyab. And here we are. Well, it... We'll see what happens. Depends on what's up with the daughter. I feel like there's a bit more than meets the eye here. So it brings you to the tribe today. Oh, and Nishka too. She seems to be doing much better now. She's even out and about. I'm sure it won't be long before she'll be playing with Chanu and the others. I hope you're here, Igno. This is your inscription. I finished repairing it. Well, thank you for bringing it back for me. By the way, I came across a piece of good quality ore a while ago. I think of using it to make some pretty jewelry for old Nishka. Remember, the Nishka would become so happy every time she saw a shiny ring, right, Nishka? I'm sure she'd love that, thank you. Pleasure, give me a moment, I'll bring the ore. We can make the jewelry for her, what kind would you like, Nishka? I would like. Something shaped like an embercore flower would be nice. She was always asking me before to make her an ancient name with an embercore flower design. But how would that even make sense? That sounds suspicious. Okay, noted. I'll make that as a gift for her next birthday. So, Nisha won't be a surprise for you. That's okay, thank you, Shiwanen. No, no, sorry to keep you waiting. Here, please take it. By the way, Nishka, feel free to write to me if you ever want to know more about ores. For shock last time, when you wrote me out of the blue asking for a volcanic crystal. So sorry about that. She can hardly contain her curiosity now that she's started to recover. She's still too weak to go out whenever she wants, so she begs me every day to help write letters to people in the tribe about all sorts of things. I feel like this is going to be some kind of Gypsy Rose Blanchard situation where somehow the mother is inflicting the sickness upon the daughter. Ha ha, that's how you know she's one of the children of Echoes. It's normal for us to be interested in war. Everything's looking up. Hey, well, just like the main character in the new version of Tekel the Brave when he was about to save his brother Rimok. According to the story, we should be right around from what Paimon see. New version. Or maybe, given the whole sort of secret here, the story from the start, she's going to be basically sort of puppeteering her daughter mentally. Take your prey to the goddess of mountains and fire, my brother's name ever will I'm willing to sacrifice my heart and blood in return. Or maybe it's a sort of brother's keeper situation and the other kid is basically having the memories injected into them. The goddess replied, I've heard her prayer, but your brother is no longer your kid. His name is sunken into the deepest of depths. 
and take your set turn my blood to fire so my heart may illuminate in the depths. I'll bring my brother back before my blood runs dry. Well, you remember that whole Agnieszka? Pumpkin remembers that's exactly what the book, huh? What did the book say? God, but didn't you just read it, Paimon? So maybe that memory is being absorbed too, or is it just Paimon being stupid? Paimon finished both books in one sitting. A lot of their content is nearly the same, so it's easy to get mixed up. But the ending of the older version is far more interesting, even if it's hard to kids to well completely understand. Story about death. A very old style fairy tale. Wait, Nishka hasn't read the other ending. It's okay, just wait a bit, bit and Paimon will read it out for you. I feel as if that book is somehow foreshadowing the conclusion of this quest. It's not true. Actually, I already know the other ending. Hmm. You already know the other ending, but didn't you only read the edition your mom got for you? Hey, what are you all chatting about so happily? Da da da! Exclamation mark! Mom, Mr. Travel, and I were just talking about the ending of that book. We were just talking about how the bad guy was defeated and everyone returned home safely. It's a really happy ending. Da da da! It's not the other ending she was talking about. Aren't happy endings always nice, but if you already read the whole thing, then what will mom have to read to you at bedtime? Still have to go to bed early tonight, but I'll buy you some more fairy tales next time, okay? Took a long time for that dialogue to progress. Okay, mom, so how's the ore? It's pretty good quality. I'll be able to give Nishka a beautiful and durable piece of jewelry for her next birthday. For now, let's focus on celebrating her upcoming birthday, where we had a next auntie. Next, let's visit Apok's pond. He should be close by. Stick with Nishka. Don't go too far. Nice mom. The boy's demonstration back to Apok's pond. He's over that way, which means we'll go on the wall, I suppose. Well, that was a little clumsy. And here we are. Boss Makahuido workshop is in an Aztec style club. But my eyebrows keep twitching today. Strange. What? Literally, it was an issue with her isco. That means you're about, you about hit the jackpot. Apox poem. Oh, I didn't expect to have two name engravers coming in today. Welcome. What are you looking about, Tazoli? I'll give you a discount like usual. I'll offer me a discount just like that. Tazoli shows his connections. Oh! I thought you were just calling me bad at the game. She was once her name engraver and did a lot for the tribe. It's only fair that I offer her a discount. Thank you for your generosity. I finished repairing your boy's gem inscription. Here, have a look. Every day, a new insult from you. Moneshka, say thank you. Thank you, sir. Oh, so this is Neshka. Tuzo has shown me some pictures before. Looks like you were doing much better now. How about this? Go ahead and pick anything you'd like from the store. You can give it as a gift from me. So presumably, if the memories are getting drained, they might not even remember what she actually looks like, maybe? No, no, that's alright. Mom told me that you've already given a lot to our family. That was for your family. I've never given anything just for you. If you don't feel like it, I'll let your mom choose for you. No need to stand on ceremony. Auntie, go ahead and pick something for Neshka. His drills and small clamps are good quality. The measurements of each part are exact and they are always very durable. I always come here to buy things if I find myself in a pinch. Do you have any child friendly safety sisters? I remember seeing a few different styles. Yeah, I think something like that is likely. Either way, I think that someone is basically having the idea of Nishka forced upon them. I have a few in stock, but I put them in the back. Let me bring out some for you to pick. Maybe to bring them all the way here. Why don't we just go? In the back and choose there, which would only take a moment. I don't know much about that kind of scissors, why don't you just go yourself? And there are too many different designs and varieties of kids' scissors. If you don't come and help me choose, I won't be able to pick one that Nishka would like. Come on, Auntie, it will only take a moment. There goes Shunin, trying to solely have to buy more stuff. What a busy day. Let's wait for them here. Be sure to stay close to Nishka. To try to isolate Nishka so we can ask more leading questions. One well, Ralph and Paimon, who's your favorite character in Take All the Brain? Paimon's favorite Take of course, he went through a lot to rescue his family. The old version of the story, he was never able to reunite with his family, but he was still really strong and fought as best as he could. He's a brave character, I admire his courage. What about you, Nishka? Which character do you like? I, I like a Remok. Well, the one who was missed by Kawatwaku but never forgot his brother Tekyo was also an amazing character. If it wasn't for his determination, both he and his brother would have been defeated by Kawatwaku in the final battle. I don't remember all the details of Paimon, seems like you were really immersed in this story. But now she remembers. Of course, the story is only interesting if you can really get immersed in it. But we, of course... Well, we're not immune to all memory issues, but we can record some things. Initia, why don't we play pretend? You can be Rimak and Paimon and be Tekyo, okay? Just like we're studying epic lines. 
Sir Trevor, can I play the role of Koat with you? So is the Abyss itself taking over her, or... But isn't she the villain of the old virgin chief in a remarking took on his appearance? Well... Well... Hmm... Said it yourself, that's the old version that wasn't one Neshka read. Alright, she read the version with a happy ending, and that one Koat like it was defeated and the brothers both survived. Well, well... Well, it doesn't matter, only the lines at the end were different. You can go ahead and say your favorite ones, Neshka. Pylon's read both versions, so she'll be able to play along. For one is the one from the end, it's... Come here, Neshka, look at you, you're sweating. Mom? Well, you wipe your forehead, now drink some water. This child, you forget everything as soon as you start playing. Picture something out for Neshka, a book's poem, and we'll dwell for house once he's packaged it up. How is Neshka? We were just about to get to the exciting part. She went in to do it with Neshka on purpose so we could talk with her alone. I really don't know that Pan thinks about it. She went to his directors only away from us a couple of times now, but why? Neshka has a strange look on her face, seems like she has something to say. Let's talk right or just trust me and act normal for now. She had to relax off Auntie, it's real hot today and we shouldn't let Neshka be in the heat for too long. Alright, let's go see Shebet and head back home. The boys grant an inscription back to Shebet. And okay, nothing new there. Nothing quest related. You're down that way. We'll run over. Nice and fast. Not crazy fast, but... Imagine Electra will be even better at that, and I... Oh, we could have just jumped it out. That's what we should have done. And she's the one from the very start of this Trouble Chronicle. I finished repairing your boy's young inscription shaven. I've also reinforced it so it shouldn't fall apart so easily now. Thank you. How about the volcanic crystal? Was it usable? Yes, thanks for that. You're welcome. I just want to see Neshka get better. Thank you, Miss Shaven. So it's fine. Honestly, you're both too polite for your own good. I was wondering where you got the ore for such a large gold boy's gem inscription. Same as one of his always accomplices then. Was she went in? Mm. And it comes to a head. We already know what's going on. We're all doing our best for Neshka. Well, you had me worried there. I thought we'd been found out. We'd be in real trouble if Paco ever got wind of it. To be honest, I won't be able to cover up much longer. I've been traveling from home every few days, and the ore reserves are noticed to decrease. So that must be why. This must be the reason. That... The reason she was out there in the first place, right. The we reason we met her out there fighting those monsters. As time Paco came and asked me about it, I could only say that I'd been using a bottle of ore, research new styles of jewelry. It's for why I've been moving so often, I said that I found a new ore vein and wanted to extract some new gems from it. Sorry I've been talking my head off, please come in and have a seat. I'm sure we can sit for a moment, but... Shaven, can I go see some of the jewelry over there? I mean, Emix's work, sure, go ahead and remember to stay in the shade as much as you can. Pond wants to go too, we'll go together. Pond hasn't looked at Nalan's jewelry very closely yet. To buy some, of course, it's good, we can buy you a whole set. Who then Pond is going to take you to look at what they have. Let's interrogate the kid. You haven't bought any jewelry for a while, Auntie, why don't you pick one out? Da da da. Siwonen's taking Chozoli with her again. Let's keep talking to Neshka. Come on, Neshka, we don't know anything about Nalan's jewelry, so you can help us pick something out. It's for Traveler Eye. Come here, Neshka. Oh. Dot 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 exclamation mark. She's caught. We know what's being planned here. Sorry, Shaven and Shiwonen, but it's already getting late. We should be heading back now. It'll be Neshka's birthday in a few days, and there's still a lot for us to do before then. We'll probably be sure to bring her some beautiful jewelry to celebrate. So clearly, the real Neshka died, Mom. I. It's not the Kubrick stare. You're getting hot again? Your mom will carry you. Let's get going. Forget to take care of yourself. It's her point. Let's go back and we'll have a talk. Yep, I, I didn't. Neshka, I never taught you to lie. Sorry, Mom. I. I. It's just looking at us. Pum feels like something's not right. What should we do? We'll just wait, say, come and see what she wanted to say. And she was having so much fun today that she brought the time. It's not a big deal. If you can help carry her home, I'm worried you would also have to recover if you carried her the whole way. It's fine, I'll carry her. For Neshka, it's time to go home. So I declines her help. And we use a trap here, Neshka. She's staggering somewhat. But. Time she reaches home. 
able to shield Nishka behind her and... Right. Obviously we can't just confront her directly yet because she kind of has people's memories hostage. <clears throat> Thank you everyone for spending so much time with us today. Please be sure to come to Nisha's birthday party. We'll be there. I hope she'll continue to feel better. But it's nearly bedtime for Nisha, so it's part of ways here. And to remember to give her the book that Kathy take over the grave I brought. I went to a lot of trouble to find it. Understand, really? Do you think I let your efforts go to waste? We especially receive a book from you. I'm sure she'll put it somewhere safe, right, Nishka? I think she went in. But it's somewhere, isn't she going to read it? Well, I've read the story to her many times already. She's even memorizing your way every line. So, is the book somehow the secret to breaking the false memory, or? That won't be a problem. Auntie Nishka's probably never heard this version of Take Over the Grave. It's different about this version. The majority is about the same, but the ending is different from the one that you bought her. What I gave her is the unedited version that was originally published. It was released long before Nishka fell ill. Oh, so it might be. The point may have been to sort of test whether uh, this is a real Nishka or not. Oh, but I remember you were never very interested in fairy tales she went in. I was just thinking that what, if what you said about Nishka's illness is true. She shouldn't be able to remember anything about her past before her illness. So the name of the original version of Take All the Brave is also part of the past that she should have forgotten. In other words, if she hasn't recently read the old version of the story, she couldn't possibly know the ending, right? I don't understand why you're so concerned about the ending of this book. If she does remember the ending, what does that prove? Maybe she sneak out somewhere when I wasn't watching and read the first edition of the story. That is a possibility. After all, she does remember things that have happened recently. In which case, let's go ask around the tribe and see if anyone remembers Neshka reading that book. There are only a few shops in the tribe that sell books, or we can just ask Neshka where she had read it. The booksellers all have inscriptions, so there's a chance that the memories. So you admit that the ways of inscriptions can also affect the tribe's current memories. That's very cool that I would consider that a crime and put a stop to all work on it. There must be a few more books at home, I. I do not wish to see your blood be reduced to ash, but I've seen the light of your heart and spirit. I beg your pardon. Nishka, where did you read that book? Answer me. Go home, Nishka. Go in your room. I, I. You're disobeying me. You're the one who wrote me the letter, Nishka. You're the one who wanted the book. Only you can speak for yourself. Verify your memory, or we're with Nishka right here, right now. Remember my name, brother. As long as you remember me, I will never have left. Silence. Stop. It's a line from the old man, and Nishka remembers it. I know, I know everything. She wouldn't help me, please help me. And, uh... Oh, when it's blocked by magic, something's blocking the door. Get back. Good CG. And just kick it right open. She wouldn't wait for us. The tunnel is blocked. We can't go in. There might also be traps. Oh, what are all those things on Nishka's walls? Inscriptions, or? Seems Angie put all the extra inscriptions you made here. There's no one here where they go. If she's trying to finish that ancient name, then there's only one place she could go to the workshop. Come on, follow me. Stop playing with my feelings. When Cacophony pursuit was only, and yep, this is. This was gonna be the dungeon. I marked the slash pass because I knew I was gonna be interest. I knew it was gonna be relevant. Tosoli's revealed her true intentions, coercing Nishka, quotation mark, into her self-proclaimed abandoned quote-unquote workshop. If you wish to save the child who sought your help, you must pursue them. Yep, she's not actually Nishka. I'm going to take a quick bathroom break and be right back. I'm drinking way too much water. It's got to be the allergies.
If it's not Paimon, then who is it then? Evil Paimon? Evil fake Paimon? Okay. And let's go inside. It... Th there was a lot of it. Zoe's Forge. Zoe's Forge, a workshop that Zoe announced had been abandoned and sealed off. Now an ominous crackling echoes within. And it's a bunch of Tepetwasaurus warriors probably hypnotized to fight for her, maybe. Maybe. Hmm. Alright. Cacophony Pursuit for Zoe. What is this place? Cocoa? What is here? <laughs> And, at his workshop, it was supposedly closed after she stepped out from her position in the tribe. But it appears that we've all been deceived. Water is heavy. Water is rather heavy. Are there people up ahead? With the shady business, you have to hire shady people to help you. And, just like that, and I should not hear them hesitating. And, hit. Thank you, and... Two... Three, right, there we go, thank you, I, okay, got a chest, oh yeah, and drinking water, that too, and let me see, go along the wall, children of echoes can use their boats to climb up on top of this type of solid Vulgiston. But, of course, we can also just go through the rift. That works, too. Okay. And trial shielding in, right. What is interesting is that... If... If you got five characters in the party... Shionen's kit oftentimes kind of breaks down, actually. If you have four elemental characters, as in four crystallizable elements in addition to her, and you can only do that via trial like this, her kit just doesn't work. She can't activate any... anything. So now we have to actually do her climbing. Okay. Thank you. Which isn't a problem, because normally you're not going to get in a situation where I have multiple of those to deal with, but still... All right, go down here. Go out either side, climb onto the rift. Use the rift, yeah. Come on, uh, okay. Thank you, and let's go inside. Cool. Yeah, what if you were made of a different percentage of water? I feel like that's possible for you. Maybe, maybe goblins are full of oil or something. Okay, and go down this way. Gotta climb up top here. Okay, let's see what else there is. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And we're no longer climbing, but now we have a couple more of these guys to fight. Hello there. And come on. One, two, and one, two. Money. That is sad. There we are. Taking you out. Cool. Oh, lasers. Okay. She really is good at making stuff. Oh, okay. And there's a chest that we otherwise would not have even seen. Okay. Think. That's maxed out. I really need to clear out some from some artifacts from my inventory. Let's feed the fanboy. Okay, let's take a couple more. Take this down. Okay, cool. Thank you. And here we are. Let's see how this goes. Almost missed that chest, and I, I got stuck on that. Annoying. That's up that way. Okay. I wasn't saying to underfeed him. Okay, yep, we keep climbing up here. And... Could actually use some... Uh, Keenish Gravels if we really felt like it. 
All right, and I have to jump over and climb up that. Interesting. Let's shoot one in. Night Soul Transmission. Here we are. Whoa. That's a fun one. This is real fun. What's at the top of this? Nothing. Okay. Cool. And... Couldn't even exit. That's a shame. Used up a little bit of Night Salt, but of course we get some Dacrum Transmission, so not horrible. And... And... All the way down that way. Anything on this side? Or... Almost got stuck. Okay. Slides us over. We didn't get stuck stuck. That's good. And another chest. And... Another fight. Wonder how much more there's going to be here, honestly. And one, two... And... Hit again. One, two... Three, four... Bite. And... Didn't kill all of you, but we got pretty close. Thank you, and... Who else? Oh, more of them, more of them. Trying to fight, okay? One, oh, and there we go. One, two, and... Got that, nice. And... Another bite, this will do it. Oh, except... Some of that's not in there. Cool, and... That was unnecessary. The door's closed here, too. Where should we go now? Actually, I'm a slow king. Transport system seems to still be functioning. Let's go with its controls and get this cart running again. Holy crap, minecart? They can take us further inside. Mm -hmm. Guys, it really is Minecraft. Okay. That isn't even showing up under elemental sight. That door is not an interactable object at all, period. Start and... What did that change? Now the cart's going. So we can try to get up there some other way, or we can interact with the rift with Shunin's help. No, that never happened to me. I was just making a pun based on your joke. If you couldn't tell. Oh, we have to get there quickly. Interesting. There's a time window on that. You were just saying that because you wish a muscle bit my head. Better a poser than a sadist. And we can go in here. Now over that way. More minecart stuff. Okay. Have to do another climb. Over to that side. Activate the control after the carriage enters the transfer depot. Okay, and let's, let's keep on moving across. I, okay, never mind. One. There we go. Cool. Nice. I like how well this makes use of Shunin's abilities. Activate that one. After it enters the depot, though, we have to wait. Okay. Cool. Now we can do it. Right? I think. Now we can do it. We have to... Move away a little first, it seems. Oh, and she had dive animation, because Liquid Fugison is basically a kind of water. I... Some things are left better unexplained. I cannot think of any way that that could possibly be flattering. Okay. I thought you were going to say it's because I sleep all the time and should probably be bitten on the butt or head. Zoli got here quick. Impressive. It's the conclusion of this. Nishka's up there. What are you planning to do to her? Not Nishka. Soon she will be. I never lied to you. This time I've only been trying to save my daughter. The expense of another kid. Gonna sacrifice another kid or... Even though she's not my daughter yet, but once everything is over, she really will become my Neshka. Exactly. What she's saying is she not Neshka? Yeah. Fusing memories, forgetting the past. So I figured it out. I want to use memories to awaken my Neshka. Barrier again. She stayed in the Night Kingdom for far too long. She's afraid of the dark and cold. I'm the one who made her stay there alone, so I must bring her back. Don't worry, Neshka. Mom hasn't forgotten anything. She has always remembered your name. 
Kingdom Seal is nature already dead. Yep, exactly. I'm afraid so. And who's that girl lying up there? It's a child from my tribe. Her parents were killed in that same abyss attack, but when you know it, Verde is the same as that of my Neshka. Does that allow some sort of synchronization, or... Rei has turned to care of her many years. I thought that taking Rei would help me feel better. So happy the first time she was going to call me mom, but then suddenly felt very, very scared. Yeah! Is she really my child? My child's name is Neshka. It could only be Neshka. How could I be happy? My, my little Neshka is still waiting for, waiting for me to get her home. As I said, I only want to bring Neshka back, even though it costs me everything. Now the time has come for me to pay. I presume she's gonna die, even if we save the other kid. As for my useless ancient name, it's finally time to put it to good use. And that's... You are a Latin-based language. Latin-based language is... That's... You... U D and U D G U D G. If you're not willing to help me, then you can come the fuel for Neshka's ancient name. Da da da. Shimonen, you have yet to make a move. I take it you're examining the inscriptions around you. So you yourself already set up all the boys and inscriptions, and the engraving diagram has already begun to run. It's all thanks to your ideas. Now the central inscription will finally become Neshka's ancient name. When Neshka returns, I'll make sure to invite you to her birthday party. Here go, get behind me, Paimon. You're, you're not going to go up there, are you? Neshka's already dead. We can't let her harm an innocent child. There's a flaw in this engraving diagram. The weak point is almost about to activate, so my mark. Don't worry, Neshka. Don't worry, Mom is here. Three. Mom will always be with you. I'll never forget you. Two. Good Neshka, now please wake up. Uchi, one. Cutscene time. It's alright, it's alright. It's alright, don't worry. You'll see Mommy soon. Neshka? Got the roller skates. And. Break the barrier. Time for a fight. <clears throat> the back that was distorted thoughts. In the midst of the thoughts, twisted cries. If you become tainted by them, they will control you and you'll never be free again. Where are you? Ah, yeah. I don't medicine, it hurts, it hurts. Being goaded, why am I alone? Mishka, why? The more medicine, will you stay with me forever? Please never leave me again. Huh. That the old ancient name, or are we in the Night Kingdom now, or Zoe? You're the one who twisted Neshka's name to a shackling prison. Oh, kept her inside her own ancient name, or it's time for you to hear her true voice. Soon engraved an echoing Greeks, Baraka. Surge disperse and ashes be reborn. The home's born anew and the blazing dawn. I will be with Yeshka. Is she wanna just killing her? Always and forever. Or how may have always been with you? She's got a scar on her now. And now you're finally listening to me. Or Yeah, she looks different too. The old person who has flowers shield the roots. So life ever cycles until we return to the lower. We've known each other a while, but we've never met. You're Neshka? Yes, but I still don't know your name. My name's Nepecha. Hmm. It really suits you. Aww. Guys, is this the Nahida thing? Nepeka? I bless you from the past. Blessings, right. 
wish that every day of your future will be filled with peace and happiness. Hmm. Interesting. And sound of that domain, or... Well, maybe the chicken needed some salt. So Nishka was speaking with her, but now where? Where did she go? Nishka, Nishka, where you answer mommy, please, please. She went and you saw her too, didn't you? You saw my little Nishka. I felt her hands and hugged her. I was right, I was right. These great shadows were just a minor mistake. I just need to restart the ritual again, and right, I'll start it again, and Nishka will. Have you still not come to your senses, Auntie? Well, at least the chicken will be more salted when you can. When senses, I was not wrong. Nothing about what happened was wrong. She's just a little upset and was trying to ignore me. That child sure knows how to throw a tantrum, but I understand. I can accept that. After Zoe, in a kicker, the person who summoned the boy's inscription wasn't the real Neshka at all. Collected memories of Neshka from countless people, but he forgot one thing. What was? Among what you gathered were not only real memories, but also countless emotions. Did you realize what kind of emotions people would feel upon seeing Nishka's condition? You will hold the dying child's hand when they felt the faint breath and saw the helplessness in her eyes, since her body growing colder and colder. Okay, they feel but abject pain and sorrow. I took those emotions, absorbed those emotions into the boy's gem inscription, and solidified them as a piece of her past. It's great figures are projections of that past that can only reduce the appearance of Nishka in her sickly state. Okay. Well, the real Neshka was the same as drowned out by those twisted and painful thoughts. I didn't want things to turn out like this. All I wouldn't was to remember Neshka to see her again. She has always been with you, Auntie. Everything has long been recorded on your ancient name, the one you said was useless. You're exhausted every option, sacrifice everything in the hopes of saving your daughter, that's undeniable. But have you forgotten the true meaning of your own ancient name? Which name is Undugu Kinship. UDG. The immovable love between you and Neshka has already been recorded in your ancient name, but you chose to ignore that. You answer blessings from the past to the future, you told me that, Auntie. You have Neshka her name, her first blessing, but now you've turned her name into a prison by taking an innocent child captive. You've imprisoned yourself. Nishka is everything to me. Without her, I can't see any future for me. As for blessings, huh? What blessings have I had since the day she passed? I see her in my dreams every day, grasping my hand, telling me she's in pain, asking me to hold her. But I can't say anything, I can't grasp her hand. All I can do is shut her name over and over again until I let go. Every day, every single day, I've hated myself and ancient names, too. Who knows, maybe hate would have been the only thing left to her, too. Can't she even break that? You think Neshka would have come to hate you? Da da da. Auntie, do you still remember what last words Neshka ever said to you? Do you remember what her final words really were? Aye aye. The reason you haven't felt blessed is because you've forgotten the true past. Auntie, you've been walling in memories of your imagination. Refuse to let go of them. A name without a past is nothing but a withered tree with no roots rotting without a future. So for Auntie, it's all over. Well, so now, why don't you stay lying down? On second thought, this might not be the best place for rest. Nishka and Nebika can always stand out, so we made our way over. Let me help you, I can carry you. Thank you, Paimon and Mr. Travor. Fine, really, then Nishka helped me just now, so it doesn't hurt much anymore. It's good if you became Nishka, and the sword would really become like Take You the Brave. This isn't the place to chat? Come on, let's get out of here. What about Tazoli? She's gonna try to kill us all, right? Don't worry, she won't be able to cause any more trouble now. So I'll you the workshop that's outside. She will not ask that you go accompany me because she just needs to have words with Zoe alone. Hmm. Rest for a moment with Shionen. Is that the end of it, or...? I don't see the reward for the quest. Alright. Let's just get over here. All right, I've walked Auntie in the house with a few ropes. I'll take her to the tribe shortly to be punished for what she did. So for now, we can get away from the house and get some sun. After dealing with all that, I'm completely out of energy. She already planned out everything. She will ensure doesn't waste time. So it's still so scary to imagine. She's only one to turn her adopted child into Neshka, and she even nearly succeeded. When we found out in time, she would have knew what to do right away. Yeah, she was so cool in the final moment, she went right into action to control the situation instantly. It's all thanks to Nebka's resilience, she never gave up. If it weren't for her bravely trying to get help, they wouldn't have noticed Andy's plan so easily. So brave, Nebka, you're so smart, Nebka. 
Thanks to all of you encouraging me after this. Oh, this is already the last idea I could think of. I tried to get the attention of many others who visited before, but they were all either quickly whisked away by Chazoli, so they refused to believe me. If I told them everything, Chazoli would just blame my illness to cover it up. What she had to do was start to cry, and the guests would try to comfort her, but we would forget about me. She would inspect all the letters I sent, and any gifts I received, and then if I didn't comply, she would force me to drink some strange medicine. So was the request for the book a way to sort of prove the difference in memory? It would put me to sleep for a few days, and it would be hard for me to remember anything. So it literally is a Gypsy Rose Blanchard situation. I'd see a lot of weird things while I slept, and the walls around me would start talking. I'd be so scared every day. If I wasn't able to get your help this time, I might have just given up. It's all in the past now. Yeah, but now Nipica, if anyone dares to hurt you again, I'll travel in Shunen, I'll send them flying. Yeah, sorry, I just can't help it. I'm already super brave, and you even managed to call Shunen for help. You definitely found the right person. Shunen isn't the kind of person who gets distracted easily by crying. She pays attention when someone's talking and doesn't miss a beat. And it was because of her help that I was able to pick up on the details. Without you, it would have been extremely difficult for her to communicate that she needed help. Oh. And is that all? Or... Chazoli would certainly be more on guard if I tried to speak with her and would probably just kept Nipiko locked up in her room again. I don't know, it's a way to part to play too, but where did Chazoli even get the confidence to try this scheme? In the Escobar's wives, surely many crowd members would have tried to help her. She's not scared that someone realized that Nipiko was in Nishka? She must have been using the boy's gen inscriptions for a very long time. I don't know. It's certainly a possibility the inscriptions she created would not only collect information related to Nishka's past, but also actually erase people's memories of Nishka. Similar to graffiti, if you want to paint something new on a wall that has been painted before, at first you must remove the old painting. It's possible that was also one of her targets, which would explain why she was so willing to let me have the central inscription. When he still took it, if it were Paman, she would have thrown that thing away the first chance she had. You can't uncover the truth without taking some risks, right? If I hadn't assembled the inscription myself, I would have never realized her actual motives. So you suspected her from the very beginning. Well, she's my auntie after all. How could I have seen her as a villain from the start? The most I did was keep the possibility and a corresponding plan in mind. It was just her luck that the worst case scenario actually happened. Now that I look back on it, we still managed to rescue a suffering child, even if that wasn't our original intention. Well, I think we've just about summarized everything and praised each other enough by now. Everything is finally over, and Nipika can now find her to be of herself. So what should I do now, Shunen? You should do whatever you like, of course, no one's going to lock you up anymore. But I, I don't know what I can do. But I know it's about Nishka, what she liked to eat, which flowers she enjoyed, how she acted and spoke. I'm not her butt, but I can only be like her. I don't know, Shunen, I just don't know. Don't worry, Nebika, the boy's demonstration isn't working anymore. No one will force you to be someone else again. But I no longer remember anything about myself now besides my name. But if I never remember my life and lose all of my paths. Sir Shunen, something, what should I do? Kawaiyo? Don't cry, Nebika. Here, take this. I took some ore from Chazoli's collection and made this as a mold. A boy's inscription, you can make them too. But it's pink. Of course not. It's just a pretty piece of stone. Take it. I've engraved your name Nebika on the top. So you won't forget at least. It's your first blessing, the one you received from a pair of people who loved you with all their hearts. It's always protected you and stood over you for all past, present, and future. It's never straight far. But I don't even remember the names of my parents. I don't remember anything. Da, da, da. I won't make any big promises and say everything will turn to normal for you. I'm not sure what kind of future you will face. I only promise that no matter what the future holds, your name will never fade. It's a blessing given to you by a name engraver. You continue to grow and mature as a snap and sprouts upward and becomes a healthy tree. As birds spread their wings to fly high into the sky. Your name is your starting point as well as your guide. Remember your name and everything you've experienced and you'll know how to step into your future. I'll do my best. You do it, Nebika. I'll always be with you. Thank you all, Shunet and Paimon and Mr. Traveler. You really can't come up with what to do, don't worry, just relax and take it easy. From the true tribe, after all, if nothing works, I can always go to the elders and look up your history. And until then, you can stay at my workshop, I can handle another amount to feed. Yep, exactly. So I have a backup plan, do you think you can find anything about her? So I don't know how the plan will work, I'm not even sure who she ought to look for. 
Rather than placing our hopes on a planet that lies so heavily on luck, we should just focus on ourselves. Anyway, enough about that for now. Let me take Sazoli back to the tribe first. Come with me, Nepika. Oh gosh, I know I forgot that we haven't even had dinner yet. What would you like to eat? Uh oh, anything? I'm not picky. Okay. Let's go, we have a lot of work to do. We have a very busy future ahead of us. And... That it? Oh, and one more thing. Happy birthday, Nepeka. Yep. That's the end of it. But they actually didn't mark the rewards, interestingly enough, in the quest line. Got all that. Serenity's reprise. Oh no, the other rewards come separately. Visit Shun's workshop again next day. Soli awaits her punishment. Nebuka has regained her name, and the boys' inscriptions are about to be destroyed. The nightmare and entrapment have both dissipated, and it is all over. Shun is also brought Nebuka to her own workshop. Perhaps she stole something in mind. Also, I forgot to get the little Prima Gem reward from doing the Archon class yesterday. Rainbow dust in a bird, the darkness of the abyss draws near. People gaze in the rising smoke as if gazing upon two possibilities. This world needs heroes, it needs a miraculous light to shatter the silence of death. And we never got to see what this weird thing was. These are the Tenebrous Mimifor, but. There we go. Okay. Go out to make it the next day then. Okay. What's the update? Let's go over. Head to Shunin's workshop for a visit. And that's three rolls. That's quite nice. Oh, so they couldn't even take them on the plane? Oh, that's crazy, crazy. Wow. Mm hmm. I will go over here then. Oh goodness. It's not a fine, it's a fee. It's, it's slightly different. And I will be anal about it. Are you here? Everything has been taken care of now. I was just about to go have a rest. You know what, to Zoli, will she be punished? Yeah, and while the tribe is still discussing that, I mean, not many have ever used ancient names to commit a crime. Paka will have a lot on his plate. But I do know that Tazoli's workshop will be closed permanently, and any remaining incomplete boys' inscriptions will be completely destroyed. As for the completed boys' inscriptions, I'll be handling them, which, yeah, yet another hassle to deal with. Anyway, at least her ancient name is fun, otherwise we'd have a real mess on our hands. When speaking of ancient names, I actually have some good news. The memories that were absorbed by the boys' inscriptions can be restored to their owners. So all the boys' inscriptions stop working, the memories will return to their respective owners. Everyone's memories of Nishka will all come back. And that's right, Hawaii, now that I think about it, your attempt to get Nishka to come back and to make the entire tribe forget about her. And Nishka really is gone, but everyone is about to remember her. What a bizarre turn of events. What is Nishka doing? She's resting in my workshop. I contacted others from the tribe and told them I'm on the plan to conduct an official investigation to her history. The tribe hasn't responded yet, so I'm planning to take her in for now and teach her some crafting skills. That's for another time. For now, she should just rest and sleep. Girl, she's got a busy future ahead of her. All right. She's right here. Any questions? Or is she didn't didn't expect to see her here? It... Oh, but this is actually the aphid event, right? Their traveler Palman was it so, so we're to see my mind home. But Palman thought he had found a beautiful tree to get a few days shut in by now, since we just solved such a big problem. I'd love to, but everyone's been busy with the reconstruction. If we were wrong to stock off at a time like this, this is where we've decided to contribute. If you want me to show you something, oh, what a pretty jewel! Looks very valuable. Something looks off. Abyssal corruption. How sharp as always. Say Fulgus and Honey Pearl with peculiar pattern that's been making the rounds recently in the market. Usually produced by Fulgus and Aphids, like Orwins. Look pretty common, really. These oddly patterned ones are both novel and scarce, making them quite expensive. Common gets it. It's just like how we love treasure chests that have awesome looking patterns on them, too. Hey, so I bought a few from my collection. Guess what? After a few days, the potted plant I was raising nearby had withered. I didn't think much of it at first, but I mean, I don't know the first thing about growing plants anyway. Wait, however, I heard Kachina say that some people got sick. Some of her customers, Shivan's gemstone shop, even Shivan herself proved no exception. Her way did all of something to do with this gen then. Thought so too, and so I smashed one open and discovered that it contained some abyssal energy. Well, concentration, of course, and isolated by the outer shell of the honey pearl itself. Which made it almost undetectable. What about the victims? How are they doing now? No need to worry, the low concentration resulted in rather minor maladies, with most being sleepy or being prone to exhaustion. It hasn't had any effect on the more fit, like myself or Kachina. 
If you would hear a palm on palm, this might be a sticky situation. It's sticky like the honey and honey pearls. I bet palm thinks he's sticky like slimes instead. Hey, you know, unfortunately for us, this problem is only a threat to ordinary people, just like slimes. You two really understand one another. Totally do. Still, we've met lots of people scared stiff by slime, so it's not like we can ignore it just because it isn't dangerous for us, right? Exactly. I already explained the situation to our chief and asked him to just collect and destroy all the strange honey pearls on the market. Stop talking about balls in my house. Good joke, though. But we still need to attack this issue at the source. My sentence exactly, like I said. Focus and honey pearls are produced by Focus and Aphids. If anything is the source of the problem, it'll be them. Took for Kini, since he's gotten better head for investigating between us. Yesterday he sent word. He found aphids with abyssal contamination. Yeah, thank you. There are also traces of the presence here of the sons of the canopy and the people of the springs, right? And Kini is also notified Milani. However, they're not exactly gemstone enthusiasts, so the problem didn't affect them as much. It looks like there are all sorts of lingering abyss related issues, so huh? I guess we've got to be patient. How do you plan to deal with the aphids? Catch them first, we can still purify this level of abyssal contamination. We shouldn't need to harm the aphids. Can you just mark that place for the gather? I'm headed to a spot near our tribe. Would you like to come along, by the way? A little bug catching sounds like fun, doesn't it? Sure. I'd have invited Kachina, but unfortunately she's already occupied. Are you be there so you can slack off? I'm game. Seems like a boring gig. Let's be nice. Glad to have you. Would have been a boring trip otherwise. Let's head off then. Go to oh, the Children of Echoes. Did that already. Go to where the Abyssal Aphids were spotted. Why not do focus experience for that? Will make a difference, but why not? What did we get from here? It was. Oh, we got more in the Chronicle. So we did Shield Men's Quest. And, yep, right over there. You recovered a true soul inside of Baraka, and you wish that soul happiness from here on out. Yeah, presumably Chaska, and then. Maybe Satwali, and. Maybe Yonsan, and then... I don't know. What more quests could there be? Because th if this is Mavika and this represents a world quest chain, next quest, this patch will probably get one, maybe the patch after that, and then... Something like Mavika, Chaska, Yonsan, Satwali, then... N next patch quest. Patch after that, and whatever patch Yonsan comes out with. Oh, goodness. What are they going to have to do? Eat it? Are they going to eat their magazines and CDs and figures? Hope they're hungry. Okay. This is where you joke about me eating things that aren't food. Like the grasshoppers. This is their spot. And they were there for, what, three days? See that an aphid polluted with the power of the abyss? Way larger than any normal one ever gets. What a huge aphid. Is it dangerous? Rax, even though it's been contaminated by the abyss, its behavior doesn't seem to have changed at all. So I've specially prepared an extra large insect net to make sure everything goes smooth. Here we go. It'll come in handy for catching them in a moment. Okay. Alright, by the way, Keenich mentioned something rather unusual. I discovered that there's a special berry that always grows in your areas where abyssal aphids are found. Berry contains a toxin that can paralyze the aphids, so if we spread them on that, it'll stop the aphids from struggling. Or if it's living around a berry that paralyzes them, seems kind of strange to Paimon. Abyss related, maybe? I think so too, for some of her animals living alongside something that's dangerous to them. It's totally unnatural, it's only behind them getting infected with the abyss. Pompton's sure in high alert these days. Hey, even the dumbest gods grew up, and Pompton is never dumb to start with anyway. The only problem with that is that we searched everyone but didn't find any trace of human involvement. It's just chalked up to some unknown natural aphid behavior for now. Fine, but no matter what, we've got to catch them first. We don't want anything else that makes people sick running around. Bugbuster squad, move out. And capture the abyssal aphids. Abyss corroded. Focus and aphids will be protected by special wards that before they break will prevent your attacks from depleting abyssal power. Since so wards broken, the aphid will be stunned, and while the ward is broken, each attack by character deplete a specific amount of abyssal power. Night soul rod attacks or higher frequency attacks and deplete abyssal power more quickly, so this is just... Proc burning and use Keenich. Pulling is Yulin's insect net within its effective range can greatly damage a ward and trap aphids. Characters attacks and damage their wards and night soul round attacks and do so more, so more effectively. Insect net needs to charge up before being used. Collect shackleberries to charge the net and restore some Fulgiston. Challenges will contain shackleberry plants and objects that contain these berries. Being certain opponents will also grant a small amount of shackleberries. Hmm. Interesting. 
The Abbots corrupted by Abyssal power or attack, they will flee to the next zone after a period of time. Their ward's been broken, Abyss quoted, Fulgus and Abbots will immediately flee to the next zone. Once they recover from their stunned state, there is a fixed upper limit. The amount of Abyssal power that can be depleted each time the ward is broken. Interesting. Okay. This is basically use Keenage. Okay. And honestly... I feel like they might. Given that... They'll probably not that often or maybe more than once. Because the little girl from Cloud Retainer's Quest showed up in that year's Lantern Rite. But other than that, she hasn't shown up again. Construct a machine powered by the Shining Golden Patterns and now know who created it. In those those ancient civilizations long lost, and there was a mass these massive secret source creations, and it was the wander the land, we found that guy. Get this too. Pearls, gems, and gold, etc. are the bounty of the mountains, their honored ancient title ancient honored titles are the blessings of the past. It's so within the furnaces of the children of echoes that all these blessings are brought to fruition. And when the hammers and extra blows are halted by hesitation, the echoes that ring out through the peaks also form view. In him engraver who is the watchful eye of the mountains, who that which the riches tell of. Because Cloud Retainer hasn't shown up since either. Maybe when Cloud Retainer shows up again, the kid will show up too. But Cloud Retainer also has not shown up again since. <laughs> yeah. That's who got forgotten about. Cloud Retainer. I need to get to... 80 by the end of the patch. At least 80. Some new little thingamajig has hit the market among... The Children of Echoes recently, and after wondering about it from Shilin, the situation seems a bit worrying, and... Gotta wait a couple more days to even be able to finish this. Speak for yourself. You have no ground to stand on here. There are five captures. There are signs of Abyssal Aphid activity, or the Children of Echoes. There's no time to lose. Which should capture them. Starts here. Okay, cool. Show character Shilin in. Seek out the Fulgiston Aphid, corroded by the Abyss, and use the insect neck to catch it. Could we break the ward? Attack fast, with the Abyssal power, and capture the Aphid. Well, it's not searching for Abyss corroded Fulgiston Aphids. What is this, Google? Insect net, collect Chaco Boots to charge the insect net. Abyss corroded Fulgiston Aphid is nearby, using the insect net will greatly harm the ward. There they are, okay. Let's get our berries. 210 seconds. Nice. And charge up net and then use it. Cool. One more. Not over you. Thank you. There we go. And one, two. It's got a cooldown to it. Okay. Interesting. And oh, well, this is good, but I. That still hit me. It's got some limitations then. And we. Thank you. High frequency or night soul aligned attacks, and this is decent. Now you're fleeing. Okay, one, two. Let's hit you a few more times. I'll eat the opportunity. And where are you gone? Suit with all haste. This is a fun one. And more like that. A few more berries. Hmm. Over there. Over there. -y. Cool. Hit, and we'll burn that down now. Now we've got burning grass, which is real nice. And how much more? How much more? Let's see if we can do this in the meantime. I right, well, the ward's back. Not good. Now you're going away again. It seems that three might be the minimum number of times we can use. Okay. All right. No, it's over where? Over there. Okay. By the way, Shunin's a good option here. We can... Climb up that pretty quickly. Better than fartless. And there we are. Let's keep on doing that and break that ward. Cool, and instantly there. Nice. Actually caught new record and... Is that enough time? Fart full. There you go. Okay, we did it though. This bugger certainly looks big. It was pretty easy to catch. It's not dangerous at all, other than the fact it likes to run away. The insect net and numbing berries were really useful, too. Yeah, but seeing that's the abyss these aphids are contaminated with, they can attract monsters, best to be on your guard. You're right, since these all too convenient berries just happen to be here, while this pot much to steer clear of any enemies. Around berries like this isn't normal natural traveler. To keep our eyes peeled, there's something real fishy going on for sure. You certainly look like an expert on suspicious goings-on. Yeah, Pot warned it from you. Huh? 
Anyway, thanks for coming out here with me. We take care of one area, so it's about time for a nice little break. Jerome will need your help over the next few days, too. It must be all the garlic, then. Last run the Bug Buster Squad. Wait until the following day. Let's see. Yeah, I guess. Got that. Messages don't change after we do it. Information regarding another abyssal aphid has been confirmed. It seems to be extremely resilient. It seems to have an exceptional warding ability. Okay. Go over there, then. I should mark all these spots. Let's do investigate, see if anything is there after the event disappears. The only time that an event covered up real exploration stuff was when Inazuma first came out with its Thunder's Return. Hit by a car, maybe. Or in a car crash. That was really unfortunate to hear about. It was crazy. At least they're not dead. Okay. Should be one more somewhere. Last run of the Bugbuster Squad means... Final one is probably going to show up elsewhere. Okay. And that... The work of catching abyssal aphids is making steady progress. Today is the final mission. Oh! A honey pearl? wonder where we could sell that then. Yeah. Mixed pronoun sentence is insane. Not, not in a bad way, just... It's a very artistic choice. I got a text. Something about social battery needing recharging. Let's do this. Oh, we got Kinuchin here. After the ward is broken, Abyss Critic focus and if it won't be stunned for as long. Hmm. Burning is going to be useful there. It's an aphid crooning abyssal energy. Alright, let's get this. Yeah, well. When you live in Washington, D.C., and that's what things are like. We'll go over row, and... Let's use the ward once you've actually gotten you down. And thank you, thank you, and... Just all of these night soul attacks. I might want some healing there. Hmm. How much time here, then? I... Thanks. Two, three... Well, it... It makes sense. Not in a bad way, but it makes sense. Oh, that does not even knock that down. Luckily, this is a good option here. Okay. Interesting. We need more Fugissin, though. Okay. Well. Let's blow this up. Berries and Fugissin. It's over there now. Okay. Oh, but it's using Kinish's grapple to move around. That'd be good for us. Yep. Gravel around. Thank you. Cool. Nice. And put that down. Cool. And keep on burning. Keep them burning up. And there we go. Cool. And we'll just hit a few more times. And how much more can we even go for? Night Soul's good. And we'll... Oh my goodness. Can... Oh, nice. We can stop you from fleeing. Oh, that's crazy crazy. I like that a lot. That's, well, not the best usage of it, but I, oh, we still got away. That, that does give me some interesting ideas on how to do this as quickly as possible, maybe. Well, somehow I feel like, oh, there was a gravel point hidden there. I feel like me catching you dead is just going to happen eventually anyway. Okay, and we'll ward you. Thank you, that's it. Guess what we caught? Capture two. Had enough time for our target. We need a bit of healing for this. Okay. One of, one of your circus clans will tell me. The news will get to me eventually. Check this one out. Next aphid. Let's 
Someone has spotted an abyssal ape in the, ape in the northeast of the sounds of the Canvas territory. It's quite temperamental and attacks frequently, so take caution when dealing with it. Yeah, you did. Now you remember. Okay. Let's pick that up. Well, I mean, just... Tell on Twitch. This quote of Fuyus and April will counterattack after being attacked. More key in each, okay. Just imagine someone will tell me. Oh, and there's a grapple point with the berries right there, too. What do you mean? You and what army? Alright. We're there. And why not grab this? Cool. The way we want to do this is by trapping them mid-escape. That's right. Okay. And I, oh, well. Mm, that, that's a bit tough. Okay. Let's make sure we keep moving out of your range. Okay. Thank you. Well, you never know, really. Thanks. One, two... Thank you. She actually deals good damage. I wonder if frequency is somehow related to other things, maybe. I don't know. Okay, and we'll let's keep on shooting, shooting, shooting. Then when you try to weave, we'll get rid of you. I thank you. Nice. And one, two, fight, and fight. Nice. Got you down. And let's try this again. Uh, this is definitely the way to do it. Thank you. That frequency is real good. And we'll keep on hitting until you... Thanks. And she went in. One, two. Nice. This is... That was crazy. That's how you do that. I enjoyed that. You trap them while they're escaping. To break it down. Yeah. Also... Oh, right, Trouble Reputation Rewards from doing Shulanen's quest, but... Can't imagine that's much. What? We're trying to save them from Abyssal Corruption. They're running away because they're... going crazy. Now, that did nothing for me. We're already at max. Okay. Final one's gonna be over here. I would get... I would get copy striked, okay? I would get in copyright trouble. If I ever put music on stream, it would be music myself that I myself had made. Okay, an abyssal aphid is appeared near the people of the springs and said to be quite quick and need to stay on the move to see on its tail. Speed of the abyss corroded poison aphid has greatly increased. Oh, and Malani. And... Okay. Maybe. We'll see what happens. Hopefully. Alright, and you're over here. Break the ward to attack the aphid and reduce the abyssal power. That's fair. I... Switching between Shilinet and Kinich would be a good idea here. They would both be good at breaking the wards, I think. Okay. Get another, and... Holds over there, I... Two. Watching on with Kinich would help. And there we are, thank you, and... Yeah, if we can just latch on, keep shooting. You know, maybe you should. Maybe. Who knows, really? And I... Oh, okay, come on. I... Alright. I'm not expecting you to get that far away. Alright. Well... Okay. Night Soul Transmission just keep hitting you. And... Oh, but of course, since we got those characters in the party... That's tough. It's real tough. Okay. You're crazy. You're real crazy. Maybe we do need to do the other ward-breaking tactic. Makes me kind of sad. Oh, well. Well, I... Oh, and now you're gone? You can still go? Oh, goodness. That's bad news. That said, Milani is definitely... We're supposed to make this work. Okay. Well, Gisson's right here. And there we go. Thank you. Shunen, let's just hit more. Now, Shunen's real good at taking it down, actually. And hit and break. Cool, well, get some Fulgitsen back to keep these attacks up, too. That's how you do it. And, uh, mm, we don't have enough to 
is another ward. This one is genuinely rather tough. Okay, that one's over there. Mm -hmm. Oh, and there's even a spirit way for getting berries. And wow, that bounces up real high. Okay, interesting. All right, thank you. Can offer multiple for those who it may concern. And we'll go in. Uh, then we can keep you trapped. Thank you. And that was tough, actually. Got to Main thing is I needed to use the wards to actually catch it while we were breaking the shield. Either way, we've done all but the final. So we need to wait for that final quest to work of catching missile. If it's making steady progress, today is the final mission. It's called Forgiston Honey Pearl, an unpolluted Forgiston Honey Pearl, and a gift from Shuanin. When you're with Crimson Kong, you can tell that this is of the absolute highest quality. In contrast to our words, the market value of this is astonishingly high. Let's make it the next day then and find the final objective. Alright. Go to the final area where Abyssal Aphids were spotted. We've got one last area to go. Come on. And that's where? Over by the stadium. Okay. It's about the infiltration point that the little chest got cuts in. Okay. Interesting, interesting. Go over here. Down that way. Ah, and yep, we got more Shuan involvement. Much as kind of as Shuan on quest. Good job. Oh well. By a squirrel, too. Hey, we're here. This is the last place where the Abyssal Aphid was spotted. So we're done with the catcher deal, right? Pretty much. Even if you manage to get away, it's not a big deal. I'll find time to deal with them. Already heard from the tribe that the patients have taken a turn for the better over the last few days. That's great news. And there is one fly in the ointment. Your conspiracy theory turned out to be just that pomon. It seems like those fruit just grow naturally or the aphids tend to congregate. A pomon never expected some kind of a toy or a treasure hoarder or some other kind of master mob behind the scenes. Pomon's just showing this kind of sensible caution and a guide where their salt would have. Sure, always be vigilant, pomon. Yeah, that's a given. All right, let's hurry up and wrap this up then. Okay, bug buster squad, move out. Time for a final battle. Capture the a abyssal aphids. Shulanen has zeroed in on the final era where abyssal aphid is seen, and it's time to what wrap up this well-executed operation. This corroded focus and aphid will have more HP and more monsters to be present in the area to defeat the monsters who obtain shackle berries. Okay. I think I'll do a little bit of TCG after this, and that'll be all today. Some of that, and break the ward to attack the aphid and reduce abyssal power. Some shackle berries up here, too. Search is going to be interesting, and... Monsters, well, still gotta do it this week, so yeah. Hello, then. Here's moving around. Don't like that. And cool. One, and keep on shooting. Frequency's good, and... Cool, cool. Shoot, shoot. And we'll go for that. And let's, let's get some berries or something. Bucket. Not enough. That's a shame. And can I... One, two, three, four. Just keep on hitting while we... Well, whatever. Now you're over there. Can have shoe and climb up. Thank you. Jump, jump. Keep on jumping. Thank you. And there we go. Berries. Right. And one, two, and we'll keep on moving towards you. And the other way. Try this out and mm, Okay. Almost done. Chew and end can move in and go for a couple more hits. And here we are, cool. Thank you, thank you. Almost done here. Really good attacks here. I'll give that a lot, and we'll break the ward. Nice. I'll put that down to stop you from running away, and this. Almost there, almost there. And there we go. Nice and fast. That's the end. Exit. And the final quest comes. Oh, Oron's here, right, because he raises aphids. Shunan, Traveler Palm on you too as well. Hello. Oron, what's wrong? Have you recovered? Thank you for your concern. Granny spent a few days pouring bitter stuff down my throat, forcing me to rest, and I'm much better now. The Oron are here to help Shion and catch aphids. 
If it's oh, sir, once you kidnap 100% sweetness, you order extreme sweetness and unusually sweet also disappeared, it was you all alone. Or those old names of aphids. Yep. Makes it easier to tell them apart. I don't actually judge them after all. They're still amazing even if they don't produce honey too. <laughs> so these aphids were all raised by you. Actually, I don't really do that much that would interfere with their natural behaviors. Just happen to live in the same territory. It's kind of a relationship where we just get along with each other. Sorry, I had no idea, but they were contaminated by the abyss which was affecting the tribe. So we had to take care of that. That's right, we didn't harm them either, just so you know. Really, that's good. So no need to worry, it's not a big deal. In fact, I myself came here to deal with that problem. Okay. But I must set the record straight. The aphids weren't contaminated by the abyss. They're smart little creatures who chose to eat the abyssal energy. So what now? They chose to eat it. Exactly, they only eat a little bit at a time. That little bit is enough to make their bodies expand, but it won't kill them. After a while, they'll fly somewhere far away and then create flickest and honey pearls. Bind up the contaminants inside. The outer shell of the pearl acts as a barrier against contamination. This way, they can slowly strip away the abyssal energy from their home. The process must be repeated over and over and over. But they're all patient critters, even the ants move, it's, it, it isn't a problem. Oh, so they're protecting their home. So I've heard of it as well, so they know the land is being invaded too. It's 100% sweetness, and the rest have been fighting hard. They're all really great, capable aphids. So that's not one the nation of war for you. No Oron, how do you find this place? That's because I fed them some numberry seeds. Can't digest them, so it doesn't take long for them to excrete them. Oh, so that's why they were growing, right? For the seeds at the ground, they grow quickly, turning into fruiting bushes. If I follow the bushes, I can find them. Then I gather the honey pearls, they produce and take care of them, and then use more dumb berries to bring them back. It seems like you guys have already done all that for me and didn't harm them in the process. I really am very grateful to you all. So that's what was going on with the numb berries. Paimon was draining all our brain juice, trying to figure out if there was some kind of plot behind them. Huh? Did I cause you any trouble? No, not at all. Don't worry about it. All ruined, rest assured that we will return all the abyss queening aphids back to you just as they were. That would be just perfect. They're all very important living beings and must be treated well. Well, since the problem's already taken care of, we'll see you all later. Feel free to drop by and visit me next time. I'll take you to see some other good friends of mine, and I'll be looking forward to it until next time. If you would never imagine things would turn out quite like this, that Orun sure is a master of surprises. And thank you both. Without the two of you around, this would have been one boring trip. It's for you, it's an uncontaminated for guests in Honey Pearl. Don't worry, it's not valuable. Just think of it like a memento, something to remember these tiny warriors who fight from that one by. There we go. Cool. And see that already. Honestly, I wonder if we could sell it to someone or something. Scarlet for Gist and Honey Pearl. You can't sell it to anyone, apparently. Okay. Got this from doing that quest. Capture five. All right then. More artifact juice. Cool. Got a little bit more, so I might be able to level somebody, maybe. Hmm, event details. Let's look at our stuff. Shuan and his zero dot in the final area where abyssal aphids are seen. Abyssal aphid is seen. It's time to wrap, wrap up this well-executed operation. All right, let's collect the items, stuff, and artifact juice, and more artifact juice. We have a lot of those now. I'm not complaining. <clears throat> and we... Check something. Do I have any... I gotta use these, okay. Hmm. I'll use those last then. Big thing is, right now I've got. <sighs> 200. Or, yeah. No, not, not 207. 187 rolls saved up, yeah. So, yeah, no chance of not getting Chaska, really. Let's mark this spot over here. That was a fun little event. Didn't take too long. Didn't overstay its welcome. And oh, right, we gotta harvest some things. Okay. Alright. 
Nothing there. Nothing here. It's just more corn. Okay. Lots and lots of corn. We can pick up some of this. Okay. Should probably make some of the furnishings, I suppose. Right, we got a lot of slots. Hmm. Eh. Soon Hood of Echo Standard Workshop. Eh. I don't feel like reading all that right now. Okay. Then, yeah, let's just go play a couple matches. Just to get our coins for the week. Ugh. Next week I'll get the new cards, I guess. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Silly deck. And I... These aren't all that great. I... All right. Switch and try to get some of this to work. Give me enough Electro. There we go. Enough Electro. Hmm. Put down the turret. All right. We'll attack. We'll switch. All right. The last... Or the dice as well. Forgot about that. We'll switch. Put that on you. Is that for basically free? Hmm. Could be nice to give him gamblers. Maybe. Hmm. I. Best option: gamblers, and then chef now. Okay. There we are, and. Get some food, once we play food. I... Mm, I'll wait for next round. Could get a charge attack off, but that would negate the dendro that's here right now. Okay. And there we are. Charge attack should kill. Then we can burst. Now Tinari can output some real nice damage if you use him right. All right, there we go, that's a kill. Hmm. Good point strategize at least. Well, that two less, uh, a little bit of a waste maybe. Just a little. All right, thank you. Let's use that burst. Good old gamblers. Healing could be nice, yeah, healing would be nice here. Give me another die too. I. Do some math. Maybe. Let's use that now, yeah. Okay, thank you. Big damage and a pierce. Give me a bit. And now... I'll make another die appear. Hit with that. Another one of those. Another one of the Cluster Bloom Arrows. Just think. Hmm. Unless unaligned element. Hmm. We'll heal him instead. Yeah. Nice thing is that I'll have another burst soon. Like that, let's turn that into Dandro. Toss another grenade down. Good stuff. Said I. Oh, that would kill me. Hmm. Well, okay. I tried. Hmm. Hmm. All right. We don't have Ito cards, sadly. Oh well. It's a dead Tinari. How sad. But this is a team that stains itself by sacrificing characters. Okay. So then, that'll kill, and now we can use... Yai's Burst. Alright then. 
Put this down. Boost that power. Turn that into Electro, and then we kill. And that just kills! Even through the shield. Cool. Yeah, it's fun in TCG. Got such a good nuke, especially when you can make it proc reactions. Cool. Just a couple more matches. Oh, and Tianori himself is here too. Right. Yep. Apparently there are leaks about possible info on a new weekly boss in... Five point three, which is crazy to think about, honestly. All right, hope we get a good amount of stuff. Mm -hmm. That's quite nice. I, mm -hmm. I can work. I can work with this. Toss this down. And switch, and then. Give him the bow. Toss his grenade down. No Samara City, but it should be okay. Hmm. Main thing is, you need to keep that Ito around because someone is definitely going to die. Okay. Oh, we're gonna get overloaded though. I don't like that. No, yeah, whatever. I. Wrong. Oh, we used the wrong dice. I hate that. It's really stupid. That went really badly, honestly. I didn't want to keep that. Well, that this one has to go then. Because it's not like I was going to switch back to Yai or anything. It's really annoying. Whatever. Yep, yeah, that, that's going to take it back. Annoying. Guess I could let Yai tap the lecture down and then use... Just to have her burst ready. It's an idea, because, ooh, that's nasty damage to take. Okay. Mm -hmm. Figure out who to put down and where. Let's start this off by eliminating Electra's first bit of health. Oh, we got multiple of the Ito cards. Okay. Mm hmm. Oh, you gonna? Oh my goodness, that's not good. I. We can just take it out though. Thank you, chicken. No more of you. No more of you. Okay. Go ahead, hit me with something. Oh, burst, burst. Oh goodness, not good. I kind of feel like. More chicken stuff might be a good idea. Hmm. I don't know. I really don't know. We can put him down, but that's already one card wasted, sadly. Okay. Hmm. Gonna burst again? I don't even think they burst. I think she bursted the first time. And that's three radical vitality, which is a crazy boost. Burst. Damage, if I can pull that first off, which I should be able to. And oh, nice, there we go. Nice. Okay. That would just be death. First, we gotta actually smack first to get some of that back. I. Hmm. Interesting. If we're gonna use the burst, we may as well. Let's go for a normal smack or something. Okay. And then whoever goes in will take the hit. Avoid having to do too many conversions. Cool. Mm -hmm. That, that's overkill. Seeing a 12 damage number is still fun. Using gamblers would not actually do anything for me, unfortunately. Hmm. Well, I, I don't know. Maybe. At least a switch and pivot or something. And now you're very, very dead. Okay. Cool. Who can I get in? 
Who can I get in? She can't use her verse. Cost some dice. I... Hmm. It's only one die. I feel like I gotta stay here. It's unfortunate. Hmm. Well, it... I should still be able to win this one, but still. It's annoying that Yai's... Totem is gonna disappear before I can even... Use a burst to knock it off. Okay. I hit again with the chicken or something. That's okay. It's kind of tough this time. This is honestly one of the tougher teams to fight with this deck. I won't even lie. Okay. Go ahead. Are you going to hit me or what? Oh. Just Electro Crystal Projection, huh? Wow. Maybe now you'll use Rock, Paper, Scissors. It sucked, but it wouldn't surprise me. And, yeah, okay. Thank you. Hmm. Let's play that, but we do need to switch these now. That's annoying. Okay, well, play this. And, well, it kills. That's all right, I suppose. Just need one quick hit. And we can just use that to get one little measly normal. Cool. Oh, right, we need to convert it to Dandro. Still just physical, because three dice instead of two. Okay. Cool. Honestly, that... Tougher than I think. Okay, cool. Vector. And let's do this. Not one mentioned. He actually shows up in Milani's little animated trailer, I think. Mm. These are okay options. They were all right. Good thing is, we can't get overloaded, because disruption from overload was really, really annoying. Alright. Hmm. Hmm. Let's put this down first, I suppose. Play that. Hmm. Hard to decide what exactly to do here. We'll switch over. One of these dice. Not have more than dice in your hand, so we'll just barely be able to do that. And then I'll play some other card. Probably Chef now, maybe. Maybe. Hmm. And our re and Chef now can work well together. Ooh, hmm. Let's play that. And that could be interesting. Either way. Mm. Get the feeling that I'm gonna get bursted on soon. I don't like that. Well. Well. Mm. Not much to do other than try to get some hits in. I think we can get a normal in at least. That will not kill me, Ogis. That's good. Think of what I want to put on. Let's play that. Mm, more gamblers don't quite like that. M maybe Chef Mel? Sure. A single normal. There we go. Cool. Hmm. Charge up in that verse. Can't just eliminate her that way, luckily. Hmm. That would mean gamblers, but gamblers wouldn't mean much, is the thing. We can secure that kill, though. Okay. 
All right, so are any of you going to... One of you is going to kill me. That's for sure. But... Yep, there we go. Scorpion Blessing technique. Okay. But they don't even have the technique card. That won't do anything for them. Let's take that. And there we go. Cool. We will get a bit of Catalyze in here. And hopefully Yai will be able to... Do a bit of nice damage. Okay. Thank you. Hit another time, but... Think about... Not actually proccing a reaction, just using the Catalyzing Field. It means that it isn't actually falling in normal category of reaction. Hmm. Gonna have to do a lot of conversion here, it seems. I don't like that. Hmm. Let's... Four, but if I use this, I guarantee a kill. That'd be good. It's getting dangerously close to kill range anyway. Hmm. Get rid of these. Some of them. Okay. And that's death. Cool. And another hit on Goro. Next round, I think, should be able to hit nice and hard. Okay. I think, honestly, I could use the chicken? Maybe. Could maybe try to get a kill. Can I play this and still get... Have I used Samara City this round? I have used Samara City this round. Okay. There we go. I can just smack one more time next round. And we're good. Okay. Ugh. <laughs> All right. All right. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Normal smack would probably do it too. This does not give any extra defense, really. Which is funny, considering what it does in the actual game. All right. Cool. Last thing to do is to fight Tinari himself, and we'll be chill. Okay. Do get a little bit of weekly stuff from that. Right. 25. There we go. It is interesting that the artifact elixir is just at 26. Which is just... They just didn't have any other place to put it without replacing something more useful. Or that was also useful. This should be a good setup. Uh, Arcane Legend is kind of yeah. Okay. Mm. All right. We'll figure this out. And the bow, oh, the bow. Tone card or a character using an elemental skill. Mm. Interesting. Have to use that for the bomb. I guess I'll put down King Squire then. The only time its effect is really going to get used. Okay. We will have to do some conversion in there, but that could be okay. Let's be during this round. Fruiting cards is tough at times. Okay. Keep on the bow and then convert using this Lotus Flower Crisp to toss the bomb down. It's the end of your round, which means you can't run away to avoid the quicken. There we are. Toss our bomb down. There we go. Cool. See which Tinati dies first. You've got say normal bow. Okay. Interesting how this all works in the end. Hmm. Much to say, much to think. Using the charge attack would be a good idea, probably. Playing strategize and then heavy strike. Oh, but you switched. Okay. And hmm. 
Heavy strike. And now, good damage. Very nice. I've got enough for that burst, but I will need to convert a bit. Hmm. Hmm. Hard to decide what to do here. I do I want to gamble with? Oh, the card is pretty garbo most of the time. But we can just eliminate Koi. Yeah. Cool. Goodbye. It is. I think that... No, Tinari won't die this round. We're in an interesting position. Here we get close, though. Nice. And, yep, one last shot on our end. We'll take him down. Sano will probably kill, which will allow our guy to burst. Because we've got the Ito card. When this deck works, it works real well. Okay. There we are. Come on, Sano, kill us. Nice. And what are you going to do? Burst your reaction or what? Yep, there we go. Just enough to kill. And we will play this one. Thank you. This is a very dead Sano shortly. I... wonder if I could use... Adeptuses. No, we didn't get Adeptuses this time. That's sad. Okay, well... Other way, Sano might survive in this round. Cool. And... There we are. You might try to kill two. Maybe. Oh, right. Didn't even choose the action. I... Hmm. No kill there, but... Just for fun. That might... I wonder if that will make that deal more damage. He'll kill me. Won't save you. Sort of got the energy back for that. Just accepted death. There we go. Okay. So it did seem to affect the cluster of arrow. Only thing then, I guess, is a couple of waylines. Good game, you've clearly been doing your homework. Who gave me homework? Okay, I'll do that next time too. Something like that. Okay. Let's pick up some of these. Oh, we only get one of those right. Vowel lightning. Okay. Coral ring is also left. Cool. Hmm. In that case... Oh, I think, yeah. It's a tiny bit more resin. Got enough for one little bit. Find somewhere to get the mining for today. It's a couple of funny rocks. Thank you. Sometimes this gives a total of 10. It's not reliable. Thank you. And take you out. It is so funny that just... I don't have anything to really mine for anymore. I'll just do it. Alright then. Alright. Interesting. That's a big cluster. Not important. Okay. Just a couple way ones and yeah. Good amount was accomplished today. I think next time I'll just... There's gonna be that mini game event. When does the mini game event end? Let me check. That ends. Yeah, I've got a week for that. Well, there's Imaginary Theater, there are the new TCG cards, the TCG challenges, and also a decent amount of exploration I also should try to get done this patch. That's the thing. And... Hmm. I don't need to rush. 
battle pass at all, really. I don't. Okay, cool. Four experience low ones, we're chilling. I need to get a lot, too, because... I'm going to be getting Chaska and Orrone next match, presumably, and I'd like to be able to level them up pretty much as soon as I get them. Okay. All right. Thank you. One, two, Milani. And we'll hit the... You did not take that, unfortunately. And... One, two, three, and well, well, all right, never mind, that did not get on the fire, sadly. Two, and shoot, there we are, not, not quite, okay, all right. Right, because you didn't get hit by deep wood. What, what do you mean? What about what? I was trying to get that done as quickly as possible, that's why I used all the abilities, and we keep getting Moani's attack thing from Widsith, which she doesn't even need her use. Okay. Two, one, two, thank you, and hit. And that knocked them all down, nice. And I, oh goodness, whatever. There we go, and keep the burning up, and shoot. Nice. But missing the deep with Brock from Dia does hurt Kini. Well, it... The reason I want to level them up as soon as possible is so I can use them as soon as possible. So that, because the new areas are going to be suited for their exploration abilities. And I don't want to have to bring them around while they're underleveled where they would be literal liabilities. Then I can use them in Abyss and in Theater and all sorts of things instead of... Instead of not being able to use them for the patch they're good for, and then just never use them, ever, presumably. Okay, thank you, and... Took you down, thanks, and... A fire on you, or... Hmm, fire on you now, and... Oh my god, what? Oh, come on. Well, cool, you both of you got hit, and die. There we go, cool. Well, I, I was going to ask you, do you want me to deliberately do things badly? But then I remember that you like to see me having, you like to see me suffering and not having fun. So, that answered that question for me. And, cool. Get on there. Oh well. Oh well. Get over here. Oh, we got damage bonus this time. That's kind of nice. That won't work perfectly though. Okay. We'll go down because of what's it. Whatever, and up. Uh, come on, come on. I, all of you gotta hit at least, except for you. And shoot, shoot, and a lot of you with it. Good, and shoot. Just a couple more, a couple more, and die. We got one more of you. Honestly, let's just try to cut you down with shooting it. Just defense scaling normals. This is not great. Not horrible, I guess. Okay. Mm. Yeah, even if you run her in a Geodeme, it's just not good. You know, with cons, you can run her as DPS, but with cons. Okay, cool. I gotta level up Dory and Wayla slightly. Okay. Just a little bit. And oh, Cryo Gemstone. Oh, we'll get one more Blue Fate out of this. It'd be fun if we got a really good roll. We won't, probably. Yeah, but they gotta get to 70. So I can use them in theater. Layla also. One of these days, I'll have to actually level you up. And when I end up using Yula, that means also means Mika and Layla, because Layla, Mika, Yula, and Raiden is the best Yula team that actually uses Yula, because you can always be silly and just use Hyper Bloom, but that's sort of the marker of whether a character is good or just garbage. Whether their best team is 
boosting them or just fitting them in while other people trigger Hyper Bloom. I didn't say I was actually going to do it. I said, going to do it now, I mean, when I do it eventually, someday in the future. Would you rather me level Yua or Oro? If I made you choose. Oh, but no, that's... No, no, we... Right, we have to ascend from 70. But once I ascend from 70, once I get to 70, I can ascend from 70 pretty, pretty easily. Well, it... Every resource spent on one character is necessarily a resource spent not spent on another character. Two new characters are coming out next patch. The fact that I'm putting anything into Layla and Dory at all right now is kind of <clears throat> supernumerary. Okay. Well, whatever. I I'll live. How much would I need for each to get up to 70 then? Let me think. <laughs> I think. Twelve of those and then. Roughly 30. 46, 60. Two more days of doing well, that should get me enough or something. And so will you. Well, actually, I don't know about that one. Hmm. I got. A weapon. 17 characters I haven't fully leveled yet. Soon to be 19. What's just going to aura drop? It'll be ready. But it's... Ugh. Still missing four Inazuma characters. And then Kui and Mewu. Not really in a hurry to get Kui. Okay. Alright, so... Have a good day. It was certainly interesting this time. Sound